Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we? It's freezing cold. Did you have that heavy snow last night? I was sitting watching Secret Life of the Zoo and that the zebras, the zebras were trying for a family. And um, there were three girls, three girl zebras and one boy zebra. And they went, oh, we want him to impregnate all of them. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm just eating my tea. I don't know if I can deal with this. Looked out the window and the snow was going like that. It was incredible. And there was a lot going on all in one go. And I was thinking about Tula Pink because we were doing the Tula Pink zebras yesterday, weren't we, and everything. Anyway, early bird. Uh, wait till you see this, right? These are lovely. You get two half metres of geometric metallic fabric, right? You get the purple and you get the gold. Wait till you see this. I'm ever so sorry about my hair. I'm blaming Elliot today. Um, okay, so you get early bird special. You get magic components on purple and cream. Right, so the, if you buy these two fabrics together... It's £5.98, right? £5.98. Okay, now guess how much they are on their own. Guess how much they are on their own. From us? That's from us. That's not me going anywhere else at all. So, basically, you could buy that. If you go to the website now, you could buy that for £5.99. Or you could buy both of these for £5.98. Oh no, it's a fantastic, I think somebody must have slipped up there. I think somebody said, knock a penny off, not, knock, knock, anyway. £5.98 for both of them. So you get half a metre of the purple and you, and you get half a metre of the cream. Let me show you what they look like. I'll, I'll do the purple. They're, they're not glittery, it's metallic, it's, it's very clever these days. It's metallic dye that they use, look. It's not going to come off the, and you can't feel it. You know in the old days when you used to have a glittery fabric and you'd run your hand over it like that. And you could almost feel the glitter going in your nails and everything. No, it's part of it. Because it, it is called Magic Christmas. It is called Magic Christmas. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure I'd call it Christmassy either. Um, it hasn't got any colours on the selvage. Let me have a look at the cream ones. That's the purple one. Say that again. Oh, I didn't know that. When things are digitally printed, it's not the process to put the colours on the side there. Oh, I didn't know that. Digital printing. So these, so not only are you getting it for half price, you're getting a digitally printed fabric, which normally costs eight fifty. So you get the cream with the gold. Can you see that on there? Is that all right? Oh, yeah, 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 that's nice. And then you get the purple with the silver. It is called Christmassy. I wouldn't... Oh, there's loads of people in. I wouldn't call it Christmassy. Oh, of course, half the stock's gone. There was loads, right? Susie's... Oh, she says it's chilly outside. She's staying in and sewing. Kate says good morning. Susie says... Oh, Susie's lost the live. No, I'm here. Susie, I'm here. I've lost, I may have lost the will, but I'm not, I've not, you've not lost the live. I'm upbeat, 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 upbeat. Tem, Terry says, good morning, John and team. Hope everyone is well. Claire says, morning, John and team. Laurie says, good morning, stay warm. It's so cold, I can't tell you. And also, because we do that, um, when we come in, I'm, you know, when I unlock in the morning, we keep the door open because we have to do ventilation. So we've only just shut the door now. Poor old Cara Delavine is in her dressing room, like freezing like that. Uh, not, she's not in her dressing gown. She's not in her dressing gown. Hilary says, morning, John. Lovely and bright, if chilly, in Barnoldswick. Jenny says, good morning, John and crew. And Pauline says, morning, John. June says, we had snow last night. Yes, I was just saying, so did we, June? Are you feeling better today, June? Um, Stuart says, morning. Yeah, loads of snow for about 20 minutes and just stopped. Margaret said, good morning, John. Very busy, look. Carol says, good morning, all. Yes, it's cold out there. Judy says, morning. Pam Minihani, good morning, John and team. When can I order some sunshine, please? I'm here! Free. I'm completely for free. Oh, uh, 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 that's upbeat. Oh, we don't want your sunshine. Yeah, the DHL man, come and get the other, other deliveries are available. Marcia says, oh no, Marcia, good morning, lovely people. Marcia, we were just watching your brother-in-law doing Sharon from EastEnders. A, a musical. Um... Jackie, morning, John. We had snow and hail together last night. Oh, my word. Uh, Cousin Susan says, happy Wednesday, John. Blue really suits you and your hair is fine. I'll tell you about my hair in a minute. Joanna says, hi, John. Have a lovely day. And you too, my lovely. Angela, morning, John. Very cold, but beautiful sunshine in Leeds. Oh, I do love Leeds. Oh, Susie's got his back now. Or, she, or I've got your back. I don't know if she means got you back on here. Or I've got you back, John. Don't worry, I've got you back. Um, I haven't brought... So, Elliot, who's in charge of buying the um, 
visors, right? You know I always wear this one, right? I always wear one of these with like glasses on and things like that. Well, we've got these new ones now that have got a bit of foam rubber around here and they stick out like that. I'll show you, I'll bring one on after the break. And if you put them on, it, when you take it off, all your hair standing up on end like that. He doesn't care. Um, Ema says, good morning, John, you ray of sunshine. Thank you. 80% 80, 80 of these bundles have gone already. Uh, good morning, John. I've said that one. I like your shirt. Lovely colour, says Claire. Alison says, good morning, John. It's sunshine and cold, but a beautiful day. It is. It is. And it was light as I, well, not through my village. It was still dark as I came through my village. It's really funny because in my village, you come along like that and then you have to go up this really, really, really steep hill. And then you're at the top of the hill and you can see the whole of stratford avon You can see for miles and miles and miles. Right, the other morning I was driving in and I was like, oh, there's something wrong with my eyes, there's something wrong with my eyes. Because it was just all orange, it was all orange, like there's nothing. Anyway, there's a church, there must be a church in Stratford upon avon They've moved the camera. They've moved that camera, look. Anyway, there was a, there was a church in Stratford upon avon and they'd lit it up with orange lights, but there were hundreds of orange lights on it and it was lighting up the whole sky and I thought it was my eyes. Anyway, Lisa Lamb, oh blimey, she's up early, maybe she's still up from last night. Blue colour looks beautiful on you. Hope you're back to normal volume. You were very quiet yesterday. What, me or the volume? You see, a few people said that I was subdued yesterday. I've got a message on my bottom. Suzanne says, morning, John. Loving the dark shirt. Good morning. We had snow and hail too from Jill in Berkshire. There you go. It was a what, nasty night, wasn't it? It was freezing last night. I slept, still slept with my window open then. Right. So, hang on. So, I've got half a metre of the gold. Half a metre of the purple. I mean, sorry, cream with gold and the purple with silver. Right, how many have gone now? I've got nine left. Nine left. Hundreds have gone. Over a hundred have gone and I've got nine left. It's up to you. It's up to you now. I'll stay with you. I'm going to stay with you until they've all gone. Then I'll do the menu. Oh, who's in Spain? Oh, this year I'm off to sunny Spain. Uh, morning, John, from sunny Spain. I'm not. Sand. Well, no, she says she's in Nottingham. I know. The thing is, uh, Mike and Julie got a lovely house in Spain. They haven't seen it for over a year. I know. It's sad, isn't it? Hope you're well anyway in sunny Spain. Oh, hang on. Oh, another one from Wales. Let's have a look. Oh, hang on. Is that Elliot? Uh, good morning, John. Always lovely to see you in your beautiful shirts. Love the fabrics. Thank you for my mug. It was nothing to do with me, but you're welcome. Uh, it arrived yesterday from Welsh Mary. Bonada, Welsh Mary. Bonada. One from Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Morning, team. My pond is frozen. <laughs> oh, mine's been frozen for years. Oh, I see what you mean. Over this morning, I uh, was going to play golf, but staying in to watch you instead. Love, Sue in Barnsley. Uh, oh, how lovely. How lovely. Stay in, keep warm. Oh, Elliot's here. Elliot, I was just telling him how those new... Elliot, have you seen what's on your desk? Oh, sold out, sold out, sold out. Have you seen what's on your desk? I've returned the masks that you said I must not keep. So yesterday, I was telling you about these new masks that mess up my hair and everything, right? So I said, I'll just take... They come in packets of 10, right? And I said, I'll just take them home and I'll make a couple at home because they don't want to stay late and Hannah had to bus to catch... Well, no, because of Jeremy Joe, she missed a bus yesterday, but that's another story. No, I'm blaming him. She didn't blame him. I'm blaming him. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So I went to take the packet home. And went, you can't take the whole packet home, John. I said, why not? He went, they'll make, you, you no, know, because you'll keep them. And I was like, Jer anyway, I've brought them back. I've made, well, no, I've got a, a confession to make. I've made two for me, right? But the first one I made, I made wrongs. So that went in the bin. So there's actually three missing from the packet. But he's got seven. He's got seven back and they're on his desk. So there. He'll still have his shorts on. I will go and do the menu in a minute. I've just got a, a loads of messages this morning. Uh, uh, Mark says, Mo, Mo, morning. It's magic geometrics. Oh, hang on. What did I say? What did I say? No, it's magic Christmas. Look. Right, OK. I just need to prove that I'm not going mad to Margaret. Margaret, from the upstairs camera, please. Yeah. Derek says, morning, Hannah. No, Joe's not in today. It's, it's Emma back in today. Emma's back in today. Loving that purple fabric. I can see a waistcoat. You see, why are you all saying, I hope you're back to bright and sparkly today. You were very subdued yesterday. And lots of people have said that. Anyway, uh, morning, John and crew. You're looking radiant as ever and always a ray of sunshine. Lisa Lamb says you were subdued. Haven't had a night out forever. How weird. I didn't think I was, you see. 
Anyway, let's go on. Let's go on. Menu, please. Elliot, somebody's moved that camera. Here we go. Right, oh, I'm supposed to read the menu at the same time, aren't I? Sorry. Coming up, quilting tools. Well, yes, it is. I've got rulers. I've got wadding. I've got quilt as you go. I've got uh, a razor. I've got something I've never seen before. Graph paper for quilters. That'll sell out. That's going to sell out. Anyway, uh, then at nine o'clock, Cara Delavine is here to do Helen Newton's flower shop cushion. Are you ready for this? Flower shop. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, that's, that is a panel. So you get the green fabric, you get the cream fabric, and then you get the flower as well. Uh, Elliot, these uh, talk backs need looking at as well, just so you know. Uh, then we've got Once Upon a Time fabric at 10 o'clock. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Helen Newton's washing line cushion with Cara Ackerman. Here you go. That, I was going to say they're already going on uh, pre-order. Uh, then at, at 12 o'clock, oh no, no, we've got Jan Lane at 12 o'clock, so we have to leave, go to another studio. And then Helen Ingham will be here from Woolly Chic Bags. I don't know what we're making, actually. Nobody's told me what we're making, so that'll be a surprise to me as it is to you. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. These are they. The first way is uh, email. Studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can uh, also message me on Facebook Live, which are the ones I've been reading out here. There's a few more. Uh, Julie says, morning, John and team, blue suits. Eugene says, good morning. Susie said, maybe it was post-Easter egg depression. That's why you appeared subdued. Wow, just note all the different coloured buttons on your shirt. Wonderful, says Derek. Uh, there's one, that, uh, there we go. Right, okay, and then... Um, the other way you can get in touch, you go to the website. This is, I'm on an angle with something. Emma, just so you know, on my camera that I talk to, it's like on an angle like that. So it's like I'm going to slide off the edge of the screen there. It's the table's all on, all on. Is it not on there? Anyway, if you look at the bricks at the top, right, the bricks, look at, they're going down, they're going down. Anyway, I'll, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just, feel, I'll hold on to the table like that. Uh, if you go to the website... Right, click on watch live. That Easter thing should have gone by now, shouldn't it? That Easter advert. Right, there we go. So there I am. Woo! Oh, I, I actually, it's sold out. It's sold out. There it is. No, no, there it is. Sold out. Sold out. Right, so I go back up because I want to show. There's a message box there. I might need the other talk back, Emma, as well. If this is the one I was giving yesterday, we had to swap it yesterday. Hello, says Hannah. I'm Hannah. Love, John. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway, anyway, just click on send the message. It goes through and they're the white boxes. Oh, I love John. Thank you. Uh, send the message. And they're the ones that appear in the white box. And these. So the early bird is sold out. Right now, this is pre-order. This is everything that's up for sale today. You can buy it now by adding to your basket. And you can then just click on it, put it in your basket, and you can uh, buy it now. Because if you've got to go off somewhere else, hang on, there we go. There, there you go, there's the flower shop, there's the flower shop. So now you can buy it as a bundle, or if you've got your own stash, you could buy the pattern, uh, buy the, hang on, you buy the pattern on its own, you've got your own stash, or you could buy the bundle. Then there's all the other things, there's Roger. There's some other patterns. There's some other patterns. Now, uh, they're just Helen Newton patterns we've got available. Patterns on their own. Brand new fabrics once upon a time. Look, dream big, princess. Uh, we're buying that for little Paul. For his duvet cover. Oh, you'll only have to fold it in half, won't you? Anyway, uh, there, look, and now for some reason we've got rainbow ribbon in there as well. Um, now, oh, that is there. That is there. Now, you see that rainbow squares panel? Is that what I thought? That's not what I thought it was. I thought it was a bundle we had. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. There's the bundle, there's the bundle. But hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I'm being a naughty now. Can you go back? Let's have a look at that bundle. Let's have a look at that. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Are they five inch squares? No, it's not on the trolley. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, I love that. How much is it? 14 dollars Oh, save me one. How many of those have I got? Save me one of those. Save me one of those. Right, anyway, there's a folded star. I wonder what the folded star's doing in there. 
Okay, moving on. Uh, we've got rainbow more rainbow ribbon. Oh, look. That's brand new, that fabric. Brand new, brand new, brand new. Anyway, we'll move on. Then, uh, right, so, oh, then we've got panels, panels, panels. I've gone up, Hannah's gone a bit crazy in this hour. Oh, I see, because it's muddled up. That panel's in with those other panels. That's why. That's why I didn't see it. I just thought they were all the same. Anyway, look, hang on, more, more, more. Uh, and there's the washing line pattern and bundle. Now, the bundle is a panel with some fabrics, or you can buy the, the, the instructions on their own. Then, of course, at 12 o'clock, we go to Yarn Lane. Now, are the Yarn Lane things on Yarn Lane? Yarn Lane's on pre-order as well, because you know you, we know that you love that as well. So what happens is at 12 o'clock, we all pack up here, we run to the Yarn Lane studio, we do the Yarn Lane studio from there. And I've got what? Oh, yeah, we swap the presenter for an older one. Oh, okay, they want Tom Daly, but I don't think Tom Daly's available, so you have to make do with an older version of me. Right! Can we do this first? I've done everything, haven't I? I've done everything. Right, can we do this first? Because I've never seen this here before. And I think this will absolutely fly out. There's, oh, it's already going. Right, 12 inch, 8 inch and 4 inch squares for drawing quilt. I think this is such a brilliant idea. It's only ever been on once before. 4 inch square, 8 inch square, 12 inch square. So you can design your own block. So how many of these have we got? Oh, is that all? Right, they've flown out. There's only 23 left. I was going to start drawing pictures, but I didn't. But I didn't. Every page is the same, obviously. But if you want to draw either your own big quilt, like a barge yellow, or you could dry, draw your own block. Do you know what I mean? That could be an 8-inch block, or that could be a 4-inch block, or that could be a 12-inch block there. Or you could draw up a barge yellow and just draw, colour it all in and everything, and you can work out if you're going to love your barge yellow before you start. 4 99 that, that's brilliant. They're going to go. Just to warn you, they're going to go. If you've got the mini bus, single figures now. I knew it. 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 Uh, morning, everyone, says Princess. Isabel says good morning, John and team. I knew it would go. I knew it would go quickly, this one. I'll just wait with you. Check out, check out, check out. Oh, I can't wait for the 19th when I can get my haircut. Oh, it's gone. Skull, sold, 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 sold. Everyone else is excited about the 12th. Hannah's so excited about when the pub's open on the 12th. I'm more 19th when I can get all my hair cut off. Hannah's hair isn't until the 25th of May. I know. Right. Moda dot bundle. This one. They've got two dot bundles. Oh. One's, one's what? Oh. 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 Now, these are from the Folkland range, which you saw yesterday, actually, if you were watching me yesterday. This bundle is... Ne I've never seen these two bundles together before. No, well, I only saw the Folkland range in the 10-inch um, layer cake, didn't I? I didn't see it in the half metre. Hannah made this bundle especially for you, right? Moda Dot, it's called. Moda Dot Fabric. £37.45, aren't they lovely? Because if you, sometimes, if, it, if your work needs a little bit of pink, a little bit of gold, a little bit of blue, a little bit of, and, and you know what I mean? And you, you get, and also the dots are all different colours. Well, not all different colours, it's the same colours but repeated. But look, do you want to come in nice and close to that, Emma? They're a posh dot, these. Look, aren't they lovely? So, in this bundle, you get two and a half metres, you get half a metre of that one, 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 and half a metre. Have you got a favourite, Hannah? That one. Hannah loves that one there. We've got cloud, golden, petal, oh, petal, posy. Oh, no, is that Posy? That's Posy, because we had Posy flowers yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, so is that Cloud, then? Oh, that's Cloud. That's Cloud. So you like Cloud and Petal. Oh, no, I, can't. I think they're lovely. Now, have we got these by the half metre as well? £37.45. 
It's a tools out. No, it's a tools out, but you need fabric to use the tools on, don't you? Okay, so this is Hannah's. This is Hannah's. Um, this is Hannah's. Spots are like a go-to tool. Can you hear her? That's empath. I'm not listening. <laughs> Basically, she's saying, if you've got your William Morris, if you've got your floral, if you've got your pattern, sometimes you want to go to something that's just very classy and sophisticated, like your planes or your stripes or your spots. Of course, I always listen to you. I just ignore you most of the time or message on my bottom. Morning, everyone. It's beautiful here in rural Spain. I've got another Spain. This morning, spring is in full pelt. Mountain and sea views. Oh, whereabouts? Right, okay, so, Carol, where? Oh, Almeria. She's in Almeria. Oh, lovely. John on Sewing Street, perfect. Thank you. I have to say, I wasn't, I wasn't downbeat yesterday. I promise you, I promise you. And that, all that strand on Facebook Live, it hadn't upset me, but it was just kind of like the rounding up of everybody and they're all, everyone being so lovely. Really, I found that incredibly touching. So thank you very much indeed. But I didn't think I was, I just thought I was having one of my quiet days. That was all. Anyway. Apparently I was subdued. Lisa Lamb thought I was subdued. Derek thought I was subdued. Uh, Julie says, morning, gorgeous. Oh, Linda, I don't know. No, Linda, we can't tell you when your mug's going to arrive at this end. You'll have to talk to the call centre about that, see if they've dispatched it yet. I know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds have gone out this week. <clears throat> but we can't, we haven't got the call centre here. We can't, it's not, you know, Gems TV, our sister channel, Gemporia, they can run out the gallery and talk to the call centre, can't they? Ours is still in Redditch, but not in this building. In this building, there's just me, Hannah. No, she's not. Yeah, no, I was waiting for you to say hello. I know, yeah, for some reason when I said there's me, Hannah went hello. There's, ha there's Emma. And then Hannah went, she's called Emma. I said, I know that. There's, well, there's Elliot in the office because he still stays here, he didn't go with all the others. And Cara Delevingne was here. We've done our prep with Cara and now she's left the building and nobody knows where, she, nobody knows where she's gone. Yeah, I thought right, I, can, I know Helen Newton. I'll be able to do her cushions. It's fine. It's fine. Easy. Oh, Dad's single figures already on this bundle. Oh, we can do them all by the half metre. Right, so we do H Hannah's favourites first then. Oh, okay, so Cloud, which is this one, is about to sell out, so let's do this one. Oh. <laughs> okay, when she says it's about to sell out, John, she means there's only a metre left. And this is Emma that you're working with here. Folktalemagic.cloud, this is called. I've only got a metre of that left, so I'm going to fold it up. It is pretty, though. That would be lovely in a blouse. I have to tell you, the quality of this fabric is just gorgeous. Right, that's about to sell out. So then we'll go to uh, Petal. I'll just move those out of the way, then. There you go. Now, I do like this colour. What colour would you call this, though? They've called it Petal. I'm not sure I'd call it, well, because it's not a petal of a sunflower, is it? Yes, that's the colour it is. It's fresh plaster, but that's not very romantic, is it? Pauline, so odd. On my old TV in my bedroom, your shirt looks black. In the living room, it looks navy. I better order fabric after I've seen it on the newer TV. It's definitely navy. So which telly shows you it's now? It's very, very dark navy with colourful buttons. Yeah, Hannah, <laughs> Hannah says the moral of that story is don't order things when you're in bed, which she knows to her d d disadvantage. Amira arrived and a pizza. Did Amira really arrive? Or was that for Tony next door? Oh, yeah, it was Tony's next door. Oh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. They, your delivery's name go to Tony's house. Oh, I see. I th when you said yesterday there's a mirror arriving at Tony's, I thought you meant Tony'd ordered a mirror and he was just letting you know that. I love that. This is posy, this one. Now, I don't spell posy like that. That's not how you spell posy, is it? It might be that. 
Oh, what now? What's the quote on this one? It says, "Always be on the lookout for the presence of," and then it's. Is that a girl's name, Posey? I've never heard. I've n I've not got any friends called Posey. I also I, mean, I could be wrong. I always thought Posey was P O S E Y. That's what I always thought. Or nose gay. We did a whole nose gay quilt, didn't we? We. When we're at sewing quarter, I love this colour though. Now, what colour would you call it? I, I, I call this Italian terracotta, this colour. Oh, Gerardine's in. Oh no, Gerardine says, hi John, didn't know you got rulers on, just seen them on the table. I think Gerardine, I've just taken them all out your stash actually. I think you might have all of those, but we'll go to, we'll get on to the rulers in a second. Oh, hang on, hang on. Cara has gone to Greg's. Other takeaways are available. Now, the thing is, Sally, that is the code for when Vicky goes into labour. She's going to text little Paul and say, I'm going to Greg's. So has Cara gone to Greg's to get a donut? Or has Cara gone to Greg's, I don't know, to get Vicky's baby? Or both? Mind you, when Hannah eats the, the Greg's donuts, she could be carrying Vicky's baby, couldn't she? Well, no, 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 I'm not saying she's fat. I'm just saying she's like me. Oh, don't talk to me about food allergies. We're not, I wasn't going to go there. And how many minutes in? 20 minutes in, I'm already on. I'll tell No, no. <laughs> Anna didn't start that conversation. That was me. Golden, this is called. Golden. Silence is golden, golden. Saffron. You think it's saffron? Yeah, but you said that's what you use to make rice yellow. Henna. Good morning, John. You bring joy to me. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Kirsty says, morning, John. The Flumps Children Programme had three children called Posey, Perkin and Poodle. Posey spelt like that. Oh, I didn't know that. Never even heard the programme, Kirsty. Shelley says, morning, John. All jobs done. Off to the she shed. You're very good. What, what, what spice are you thinking of then? Hannah's got a spice that she got stuck on her head. As in, why was it on your head? Turmeric or turmeric, turmeric. And what's that, why was it on your head? <laughs> I'm moving on, moving on. That's too long a story to tell. But you could, if you're anybody in King's Heath will know the story because that's where Hannah goes to have her. her. Here we go. Uh, so this one's called Sky. Seven pounds and 49 pence. That's beautiful. All of these colours, they're all slightly muted, aren't they? And really, you see, now this I'd call a Farrow and Ball. If it was Farrow and Ball or one of those posh paint shops, you'd call it. Oh. Uh, Hannah would call it whale breath. I'm ever so sorry. I'm ever so sorry. I was thinking of something really romantic, like uh, Oxford, Oxford Dreams or something like that. Um, only because I've got this colour in, in my Oxford bedroom. And then, and then I put matchstick with it. I remember the, the paintwork and the ceiling is matchstick. Okay, number 28 is dead salmon. But what's a blue like this at, at um, Farron Ball? Other paint shops are available. I just spent, to, I had money when I bought my house, so I bought all Farrow and Ball paint. Yeah, but it was all done when I first moved in. I'd been there nine years, had the whole house painted and decorated, so like every room now needs redoing, and it's like, oh, I can't afford it. Oh, okay. No, it was I didn't use borrowed light, no. Ludworth Blue, there you go. Borrowed Night's now a lovely one, isn't it? Oh, now Mike's watching. Remember Mike from Sewing Quarter, Hannah? 
whale breath. He put, knowing Hannah, that doesn't surprise me. What do you mean? Pigeon, that's a nice colour. Anyway, moving on. Is there really one called trees are green? And is it green? Yeah, because it's like our misty blue, isn't it? Our misty blue's not blue, it's green. Uh, Lulu says, morning, John and team. Have a lovely day all, says Lulu. Oh, I need to warn you, need to warn you, the Helen Newton pants. This is the, um, this is the flower shop, right? That's the flower shop flying out. Now, what's going more, the panels or the patterns? Just checking. Oh, exactly the same. And then what about the washing line? Okay, don't worry. The, the, the oh, more of the kit than the pattern on its own is gone. Now, that surprised me because I thought out of all of them, that one where the pattern would go, because you've got stash, you've got little stashes, little bits of uh, fabric, haven't you? Well, I've not been in your cupboard, I don't know. But if it's like mine, you'll have lots and lots of little bits in your cupboard. Quilting gloves. Now, yesterday we were looking for these, weren't we? Because Dawn wanted these yesterday, didn't she? But Cara's going to be using them in her hour. Whoops. Oh, no, it's not upside down. So I think someone's put them back in the packet upside down. Oh, in the packet, it's the wrong way round, full stop. Do you want to see them on? How much are they? Three ninety nine. How many have I got? I think someone's already had these in. These are big. Oh, no, I'll take that back. No, oh, I'll take that back. Well, I won't, I won't put my hands inside them. I won't, I won't put my hands inside because they're, they're there like that. Right, okay, this is why I want to, I'm going to, how many have I got? Are, are there any on the shelf? I, I want to show you them on because it's really important because a lot of people go, oh, quilting gloves, what do you need those for? Right, okay, so these could become the ones, oh, hang on, no, um, before I put these on, Hannah's just going to check her filing cabinet for quilting gloves. What would they be under, Hannah? Ooh. Oh, can you hear her? Is it open? Right, okay, so I won't have to put those on. Right, now you'll have to throw them over. Oh, wait, okay, that's right, don't worry, I've, I've, I've not touched them. Look, it's in the box, thank you. Oh, I've got oh, loads of, oh, that's good, because I've got all the creative, yeah, normally she throws them. Can you imagine if she threw that one in? Right, okay, so these are the ones I'm gonna put on. Oh, these haven't been put on either. Anyway, it's important that you see, because I think a lot of people look at them and go, why do I need quilting gloves? First of all, they're a lovely breathable fabric. I'll show you them on the table first. But if you have a look here, they've got little silicon uh, nodules on the end of each finger on both sides. So when you're doing your quilting, so first of all, first of all, if you make wedding dresses, these are ideal if you wear wedding dresses because if you've got sweaty hands like me, the last thing you want is you want your grubby fingerprints on the wedding dress or whatever. So you can wear them to do that. But, so it's breathable, it's breathable fabric. If you have a look, I don't know if you can see, but it's breathable fabric with the little nodules on the end there. So when you're, when, first of all, if you're picking up pins, it's brilliant to pick up pins like that. No, 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 no. Right, really, really easy to pick pins. <laughs> he says really easy to pick up pins. There you go. Um, but also, because the little nodules, now these are a bit big for me. That's unusual. Oh, no, there you go. So I put them on properly. Um, also, when you're quilting or doing free motion embroidery, you, you, like today, you just, you just, you, you, you have to hold onto the fabric and the little nodules here, just keep hold. Imagine like, uh, I want to say um, Spider-Man suckers, like that kind of thing, but holding onto your fabric. 3 99 they are. Um, but also you can wash them. Do not put them in the tumble dryer. Do not put them in the tumble dryer. Is that what they say? That's so easy. Or are you making that up? Oh, okay. I won't, I won't. Hannah was giving me a quote from So Easy, but it wasn't, wasn't right. Um, but they're ideal. And also, somehow, they take, because you know how your hands can get quite tense when you're holding on a quilt and everything like that? These will help you get rid of that tension in, in, your, in your hands and everything. $3.99. Beautiful. Oh, I've got a FIFO on these. Uh, you can't sew, uh, hang on, you can't sew heavy quilts without a good pair of gloves. These are spares. 
So I'm never without a pair. Oh, get you, Alison. How long ago did she leave? Oh, it's gone. So, Dawn. Dawn, a great time. To, as I've progressed at quilting, I, I'm, I'm just looking there because I can't read the one on there. Uh, I've needed to uh, protect my hands as well as my project. So it's a double win. We are both protected from Dawn in Greater London. Thank you, Dawn. Right, so they can go in there because they're the open ones and then they can go back in there. Uh, Emma will be putting away eight o'clock. Cara's brought her own, Cara's brought her own. Got message from Beverly. Morning, John. I recently bought the Bridgewater. Oh, it's funny you should mention that. Oh, we carry on reading it. Bridgewater Team Ripper. No, we're jump subdued. Oh, I can read it here very quickly. Oh, it's gone again, it's gone again. Uh, absolutely brilliant and well worth the money. Save so much time from Bev in Leicestershire. She only sent it two minutes ago. Are we doing, are we doing that now then? Now, I did do a demo the other day, a very good demo if I may say so myself. Yes, and Hannah, Hannah made the, the, the things for me to cut everything. If you've got, you've given me a shut one here, yes. You'll be able to open your box. I don't want to damage the box, that's all. Poor old, poor old Hannah's having to jump up and down, up and down. There it is, that's in the box. Now, it looks like a beard trimmer. In fact, uh, uh, they're just brilliant. Can I just tell you... Um, Gerardine says, is that your magic trick, John, in your gloves? They're great to stop your hands aching. Alan says, I've just finished another six virtual reality gym workout. Oh, excuse me, get you, Alan. Yeah, Hannah does those. Um, I help, brought them to help me control viscose. Um, uh, Pauline's already ordered a pair. They'll be arriving today. Um, oh, now, Samantha says, hi, John and gang. Watching so Street is like a meditation to me. Oh, that's nice. Donna Elizabeth says, morning, John and team. Hang on, there was somebody else as well. Morning, cheerful. Anton would love a massage with those gloves. Uh, Anton's a dog, by the way. Just, uh, or is it a cat? Is Anton a dog or a cat? <laughs> um, no, I've, I've, I've put a hold on the four kittens. I sent a message last night. Anyway, look, this is it. So what you do is here is like a little blade that just... And literally, you just open the seam. I wish I'd done one now. I didn't have time to. Open. No, no, sorry. You literally open the seam like that, and and it zips along. It's the most fantastic. I've only got a few left though, and they're twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, and I've got another. Is it a FIFO? No. Gerardine says I found my Bridgewater Stitch Ripper after hunting every nook and cranny. There, they were in a safe place. So safe, I couldn't find them for ages. Um, Hannah's going to get me a seam. Is she going to make? Is she making me a seam? This could be a while. You can charge them up. You charge them up. You got a little lint brush. You got a little bit of oil. Oh, honestly, what are you throwing into me now? Hang on, I'll throw it in and I'll. What? <laughs> are you right? Are you ready? It's a, the, the smallest of samples. I'll see if Emma can come in close on that. There you go. Look. Doesn't root it doesn't damage your fabric at all. This one is very small and fiddly, but that, you know. Really good if you've done tiny if you do tiny, tiny stitches on um foundation paper pieces, you need you need to undo those. They're fantastic, aren't they? Oh, this is nice. Who made this? This is from that barley that I had yesterday. Uh, Sally Ann Harrison. Oh, in fact. It's because of Sally Ann Harrison that we've got this, because she bought me a um, beard trimmer to do this with. Yeah, and also, when Clive made a big mistake on Saturday, did he use this on Saturday? Oh, that's right. It was the one where Hannah walked in front of the cameras. But look, doesn't it, it's, so it's a bit like a beard trimmer. So this, if this was your skin, you see what I mean? It's not doing any harm whatsoever at all. Well, I've never had that done, so I don't know. Hannah says it's like when they cut the cast off your arm, and that doesn't hurt. Or when they cut when they cut into your ring. If you've got, if you've, yeah. Um, this I don't know how she thinks I'm going to undo this one. 
Yeah, hang on. Let's just, I can get to it, though. I can get to it. You just, it's just brilliant because it doesn't affect the fabric at all. And you know we all need a quick unpick. This is fantastic. If you just started sewing... Yeah, someone's testing their machine on this. But look, it's just multiple lines. Look how easy those stitches come out, look. Oh, Dad, single figures now. Single figures. Also, um, I don't know when we can get these in again. Oh, now you see, um, Gerardine. Angela said, I love, 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 love my Bridgewater. I've made a little bag with oops on it. I think that means loops on it, says Ange. Lorraine says, morning, love. No, morning, John. <laughs> Not morning, love. Morning, John. Love the stitch remover. Susan's a bit late this morning. Derek says, the Bridgewater Seam Ripper is amazing. It saves so much time. Loads of you loving this. It's got what? Oh, I see, I see. So it's not got loops on it. It's got oops written on it so that when you make a mistake, you go and get your Bridgewater. Jean says, good for moving embroidery stitches too. No, now, Wendy did a demonstration. She brought in a, well, Kat brought in a sweatshirt that had a crest on it. And you go from behind, you just take it all out and it comes out. And you, you know, sometimes you've got, a, um, say you're part of like Hannah's netball team, right? And then you leave Hannah's netball team. And because you don't like it there, and you go to Emma's netball team, you can just unpick the um, logo and everything. Uh, Mark says, just sneaking a quick five minutes. Looking good this morning, John. Thank you. Four kittens sounds great, says Derek. No, I'm not doing it, Derek. I'm not doing it. Four kittens would be too silly. Anyway, I'm going to move on because we can't spend the whole show on that. They're, oh, they're all about to go. They're all in baskets. Well done. Well done. So easy. Wash away quilters tape. Now, Becky Ellis under frost uses this for so many different things. Now... Okay, there is, if, you, if, you search, if you search Quilter's Tape on our website, there is one much cheaper. That's not double-sided. You must check. To, I mean, if you want a single-sided one, then please go and get that one. But this one, Becky Alice wants to even uses this one to place her zips. So you can put it down, you can stitch it, and then when you wash the garment or whatever... Sorry, I've got a bit of an itchy nose. Sorry. Um, if you could wash the garment or anything like that, um, it disappears. It disappears. I've got, I've got the... Um, Sanitizer that's not squirting everywhere today. That's the one on that desk, I must remember. Um, so this is brilliant. It's six ninety nine. Uh Becky Alexander Trust. And lots of our guests wouldn't be without this, or experts wouldn't be without this. Uh, oh, Crafty in Northumberland, good morning. A very versatile project, not just for quilting, uh, but also for general sewing, especially inserting zips. There you go, Crafty in Northumberland. Thank you. Pauline, straight to the point. Is it a FIFO? It is. Happy with my purchase when it arrived. Now, was it late arriving? Is that what you're trying to dig at? I know. No, you see, that's, that's where a lot of us fall out. You read a text message. I've read that completely differently to the way Hannah read it. Hannah read it as come round for tea on Thursday. Yeah, too soon for a holiday. Baffer tape. It is like baffer tape. Oh, uh, oh! So many people messaging. It's good, right? Six ninety nine. Let's move on. Where shall we go now? Rulers. Oh, I've got the biggest square here. It's not the biggest square ever. It's just the biggest square today. 12 and a half inch square, this one. Now, you know about creative grid rulers. They are just brilliant. First of all, this one's obviously, this one's got the cellophane on. It's how yours will arrive. You've got your markings down the side in black and in white. They're in inches, but they come in increments of like one eighth of an inch. You've also got your 45 degree line running through the middle there. You've also got your, this is brilliant for squaring off blocks because you've got your center point there as well. But what's brilliant about these is on the, this side here, 
all of these dots and all the way around the edge there. It's like a patented, I don't know what it is. I call it silicon, but I don't know what it is. But it's a grippability. So once you put it down on your fabric, it's not going to go anywhere. And you know when you're cutting with rotary cutters, cut, you, want, you don't want this to slip out, especially if you're, if you're squaring off a block. Most important time to finish off that block. £23.99. It's 12 and a half by 12 and a half inches. Always useful, always fantastic to have. Ask Gerardine, she's got this one. Sharon says, morning, Mr. Scott. How are you, Sharon? It's not Shazza, it's not, um, it's not um, her mum, Hannah's mum. I've got another square. Are we doing all the squares first then? Eight and a half by eight and a half. I think you'd use this one an awful lot as well. I... Okay, the, the images on the web are all a little bit taken from different diets. So always look at the size that you're buying. This is exactly the same as the last one, but eight and a half by eight and a half. Yep. Uh, Susan says, Creative Grid Ruler is the only ones I buy now and use since you started selling them. That's nice. Oh, now Jill said, Quilters tape has so many uses. I, I have made, I make sewn needle fented and cross stitch cards and use it all the time. There you go. Emma. Oh, sorry, I thought I was waiting for it to come up. Emma from around the corner, yep. Yeah. Uh, so Emma from around the corner to me, she's just had her second jab. Yay! I haven't had my date for my second. Are you older than me then, Emma? I always thought you were younger than me. Um, anyway, uh, she lives in a little village around the corner to me. Uh, oh, it, she knows, and I've had my hay fever pill as well this morning. Um, she said, second jab today, sitting quietly in the corner, drinking a tea, watching me chatter away. Thank you, Emma, my love. Right, so I'll put that one there. Oh, what, what? Oh, FIFA on that ruler. Sorry, I've got to lean forward. I have used Creative Grids for a number of years and have always found them to be accurate and safe to use. From, oh, that's the craft in Northumberland. Now, is it the same craft in Northumberland or have we got lots? Have we got lots? They're very creative people from the northeast, aren't they? Right, moving on to the next one now. Six and a half by six and a half, this one. I'll show you them all together in a minute so you can decide if you can't decide which one you want. Oh, Quilter's tape's about to sell out. Uh, we're selling that a lot this morning. It's only quarter to, what time is it? 10 to 9. And we've said that quite a few times this morning, haven't we? That's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, Susan's got her, Suzanne's got her second jab at 6 o'clock today. Susan, no date for my second jab either. I'm the same age as you, John. 39. Oh, no, 40. We're 40 now, aren't we? 40. Uh, cheaper rulers are a bad buy. Oh, there you go. That's Julie said that, not me. That's her opinion, but the thing is, you get what you pay for, don't you? It's as simple as that. You get what you pay for. Yeah, look at the presenter today. I'm ever so sorry. With awful hair. Not long. What date, what date is it today? That's a Wednesday. What's the date? So I've still got a week and a half to wait. 19th, my hair. Monday the 19th at 9 o'clock. I'll be there early. I'll be there early to get my, because I have to get a space in the Waitrose car park, you see. I don't get my hair cut at Waitrose, but that's, you walk, park at Waitrose, walk through the alleyway, past the attic beauty salon, past the sewing shop, and the barber's on Ul Ulster High Street. Message on my bottom. Uh, first time I've purchased non-slip grid, it should make it easier to use than the slippery ones. So that's from Ronda, oh, Ingrid in Ronda Sinontaf. How have you found it? Do let us know. How long ago was that? 27 days. You must have used it by now. Right, okay. These are the three rulers I've just shown you. Very quickly, take the graphics out. That's the 12 and a half by 12 and a half. That's the 8 and a half by 8 and a half. That's the 6 and a half by 6 and a half. The, the picture on the website isn't very clear. Oh, Susan's having an haircut on the 20th, the day after me. I'm sure you're not going to the same barbers as me, are you, Susan? Am I? Now, Emma's boyfriend, oh, Emma's in-laws, as well, they will be when he eventually asks her to marry him and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. They live near, no, well, I've not heard. They've, have they, they live near my barbers, do they? I might have seen them in Waitrose. 
Because every day, when I drive home from here, right, there's a wait train in Ulster. I park there and I do my shopping there, so it's on the way home. That's where Emma's in-laws live. And, and uh, you, whereabouts do they live? Not that I'm going to stalk them. Are they near the high street? Oh, OK. Very nice. Anyway, should we move on? Long rect. Oh, now this. This is the one. Ooh. This is the only 24 and a half inch creative grid ruler that we have at the moment. This is the one. This, I tell you what, this and this are the two. This and this are the two that uh, all our designers, when they say they bought their, but bought, when they buy their first creative grids, they get this one and then they get this one. Right, this is 23.99. It's 24 and a half inches by six and a half inches. Fantastic, because you can go right the way across, because uh, you fold your fabric in half, you can go right the way across, get a width of fabric on this. 23 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, Emma, around the corner from me, she loves her eight and a half inch qu quilted ruler, quilty ruler. And she's about the same age as me, yeah. She's a bit, tiny bit younger. FIFO coming in on this one. Not the cheapest, oh, excuse me, Julie in Lancashire. Not the cheapest item, but as soon as I used it, I can understand the price. There you go, that's what I say, buy cheap, buy twice. It's amazing and such a time saver. So, so, in capital letters, worth it. Julie in Lancashire, thank you. I love that. That's your northern honesty straight to the point, isn't it? 23.99. Oh, so many people coming in. I love creative grid rulers. Would not use anything else, says Shelley. Barbara's got a haircut on the 19th. Uh, can't wait. Love the show. Uh, I agree with those two rulers. Best Buy will always be used. That's Stuart. And Lesbeth says, hands, what's this? Um, thumbs up, thumbs up. I would say if you're just starting, the big one is the best one to start. Thumbs up. <laughs> buy cheap, buy twice. Yeah, exactly, that's what I said. Uh, I've got several of the first sort, but gradually replacing them. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the whole country is having a bad hair day, including me. Right, now, um, Hannah says you can have your hair cut in Scotland. I don't think they can, can they? I thought it was Wales you could have your hair cut. Oh, Mo, uh, Mo, you can have your hair cut. Oh, no, no Hannah's just going, oh, maybe Boris hasn't told them yet. No, it's Nicola that tells them, not Boris. Nicola. Oh, oh, and maybe she's just woken up with a bad hair day. Because you know what she's like when she's been on the show, but the night before. Okay, oh, so I literally opened this Monday, just gone. Well, maybe she hasn't been able to make an appointment yet. Hannah. She's very judge, judgmental this morning, isn't she? Yeah, two days you've had. You need to have had your hair cut. Next. Oh, quickly, Miss from Karen. Hubby bought my creative good rulers by accident 20 years ago. How'd you do that? How'd you do it? Anyway, not had to buy replacements except for one that I lost. Right, okay, there's lots of questions in this story I want to mention. Won't use anything else from Karen in Hampshire. First of all, how do you accidentally buy a Creative Grid ruler? And secondly, how do you lose one? It'll be under the bed. It'll be under the bed. I remember when I lived in uh, Wimbledon with Dulcie when we were students and I lost my wallet. So I went to the bank, went everywhere where I'd been, went to the bank, I cancelled all my cards and everything. In those days, it was like you had to ring up, cancel your cards, wait for the new ones to arrive, starved for two weeks, and then just happened to hoover under the bed and they were. <laughs> then you can't use them again because you cancel them all, can't you? Know, whatever. Right. Confession time, Gerard D. Oh, Mo's hairdresser's booked up till Christmas. Hannah will do it for you. Have you got curly hair, Mo? Because Hannah can do curly girl. Because she's, adv she's advising Emma on it. And they start talking about it from the minute they come in the morning. And they're not talking about it now, because obviously we're in the show now. But later on, there'll be a little lull. I say, so you need the marmalade, da, 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 and you need the, this serum. And... Well, I can hear it every day. I hear it every day. Right, next, quickly. No, I've not long left. Oh, doing this, I mean, doing this. Not, I haven't got long left. You know. 
Oh, yes, got the other spice. Right, all of those lovely rulers are available. Uh, can I just say, is this available as well? Oh, it's one. I won't talk about them. Yeah, play, play it through because this Wendy Orlando, right? Wendy Orlando, she goes on and on and on about this. There's only one in stock for some reason. Oh, people in baskets, right? Okay. Right, a bundle of fabric. Now, this is lovely. If you've seen some spotty fabric earlier, this, uh, this one I'd call this bubble rather than spot. So you get this, the, the other one, I, I don't want to say the other one was classy and this is more fun, but you know what I mean. So the equivalent is Emma and Hannah. Which one are you going to go for, the classy or the fun? Oh, you've got to decide. Oh, now Hannah's already presumed that she's classy. Right, okay, so anyway, this is spoff, stuff, colour, fun, spotted, bundle. Orange, blue, red, yellow, green. Aren't they lovely? These are stuff. The other bundle was Moda. These are stuff. I always call it stuffer, but I'm not quite sure why. Um, wasn't all the wasn't uh, wasn't um, Mandy's prize yesterday all stuff? That was all stuff fabric yesterday, wasn't it? I don't know if it's gone yet, Mandy. But it, oh, I can't get over. She's won 50 meters of fabric. I know a hundred different fabrics. We weren't watching. That was Easter prize yesterday. Uh, there you go. 29.95. Pardon. I've got a scruffy Shih Tzu, all being groomed on Friday. Then I'm having, oh, four, four, not a, four, four. Um, then I'm having my hair cut next Friday and eyelash extension the week after. Hooray! From Susie in, Susan in, or Susie in Gloucestershire. Right, Hannah's having, not extension, lifted eyelids. Um, I did... Oh, sorry, what did you get in then? Oh, lifted eyelashes. I wanted to say to her, wrong, a wrong part of your body. She's starting at the top and working down because everything will be need lifting eventually, won't it? Well, you're only young, you know. Well, compared to me, you are. I'm ignoring her. I'm ignoring her. She said everyone's younger than me. 29.95. Aren't these, are these available by the half metre as well, or just in the bundle? Oh, just in the bundle. Just in the bundle. Uh, Lowe's given up, I have given up trying to get an appointment for my hair. Oh, I was on, I, I um, was on the phone the minute, the minute that they said hairdressers could open on the April the 12th. I was on the website straight away. Oof. Well, I, I don't know. I won't have it short, short, because I won't go back to short, short. But I'll, I'll, if you look at me on Christmas Day, it'll look very nice on Christmas Day. <laughs> Glenn, is, what's Glennis saying now? I can't get an appointment. It's so long, I'm sitting on it. Oh, Glennis. I'll be, I'm nearly, I'm not far behind you, Glennis, but mine started to stick out. Like, you know, like at the duck's bottom, how the feathers stick out like that. My hair started sitting at the back. I don't know. Well, there used to be the 50s. There was the DA, wasn't there? The 50. That was called the DA because it looked like a duck's bottom, but it wasn't. Twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, it would be a B, but they didn't use the word bottom in the 50s. They used a different name, that word. Twenty nine ninety five. Aren't those good? Are they? Are they really green, yellow, red? Blue and orange, is that what they're called? Oh, sorry. Red and white spotted. Blue and white spotted. Yeah, blue. Green and white. Orange and white. Yellow and white. Say it is it is. Uh, can't wait to have my hair on Wednesday and nails on Thursday. Thank goodness I booked within minutes too. That's at Lorraine. Your hair looks fine, John. Oh, I thought she said, you look like Vera Lynn on a bad day. I look like Vera Lynn on a bad day, says Margaret. Stuart says, well, I've learned something today. Can I have a D? Do you not, do you not know about the DA, Stuart? Your hair wouldn't do it, though. It was slicked back like that on this side, slicked back on that side. And the bit there looked like a duck's bottom. 1950s, like John travolta -y, you know, one of those. Oh, yeah, Hannah's favourite ruler, very quickly. Good, God. it's good to have friends. That's what this is called. It's a song. It's what, not you didn't write it, Hannah. Mm. 
My hairdresser is my best friend, so she has me penciled in at the moment. She knows she can. Oh, until she knows she can open. Shame I couldn't get to come to the house, but we have to play safe. She tells me when I'm having my hair cut. Yes, Susan. No, no, no. We have to stay safe. Don't break any of the rules. Nobody break any of the rules. We have to look. Well, you know, we learn from it. Anyway, 15.99. It's got a FIFO review. Right, so Katie says, dear little ruler, it's a cracking purchase. Ah, oh, from Katie in West Yorkshire. Wendy in Cumbria, where the Cumbrian fluorite comes from. It's yellow, only, only British gemstone. Uh, price, pricey, but worth it. Now, hang on. Price, but worth it, as I need to do some fiddly piecing and my other rulers are too big. There you go, Wendy in Cumbria. $15.99. No, Susan says I don't break the rules. Good for you, Susan. Good for you. It's only hair, it's only a hairdo. Do you know what I mean? It's better it's better to stay safe and we can all and we're all in the same boat. It's not like we're all going, oh look at Hannah's hair. Like that. We're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat. Right. Very quickly. Quilt labels are here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's a little panel exclusive to Sewing Street. And which one was the other one? Yeah, Matt's. Right, Stitch with Love, Made with Love, Handmade. Handmade, Stitch with Love, Made with Love, Handmade. Handmade, Handmade, Handmade. Seven ninety nine. this panel. Gorgeous. Uh, my dog has been groomed all through lockdowns as her breeders' class is at risk. Lassa Apso. If they're not regularly groomed, they can develop... Oh, no, I didn't know that. Those dinky rulers are brilliant and easy to find because they're colour. There you go. Hannah loves that ruler. She absolutely adores this ruler. She hasn't got one, but um, she loves it. She's waiting for one of us to buy it for her. That's what it is. What? Who've... Right, here we go. And then last item of this ad before Cara comes on. Has anyone found her yet, by the way? Okay. These are Quilt As You Go from June Taylor. Quilt As You Go, two and a half stri strip mug mats. Right, three different patterns in there. The chevron, the T, and the... That's got a name. That's got a name. It's the kaleidoscope log cabin, that one. You get all three in there. And how much are they? Ten ninety nine. Okay, we are going to go for a break now. Cara is up next. We're doing we do flash shop first. Flash shop from um, I nearly said Helen Mirren. Then Helen Mirren's not coming in. <laughs> not Helen Mirren. Yes, yeah, Helen Mirren and Cara Delevingne together doing cushions. See in three. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app 
onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page keep up to date with what's on sewing street and yarn lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters for sewing street head on over to www.sewingstreet.com Scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. On, she went on the top topless bus. No, no, that, 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 no, no, she wasn't topless. What's it called? Like the tour bus of Reddit. Open Reddish. top. She was Open. on top of the bus that had no roof around going on. She thought, <laughs> she said, I thought, I've got an hour. Can't bother watching John. I'll go. Off and she had to go and collect Helen Mirren because Helen Mirren's supposed to be in this hour, isn't she, as well? So, um, so she went, went to get Helen oh. and they came round and they're in. And Helen didn't, didn't want to come in. <laughs> Yeah, so she's, she's still topless on the bus, yeah. So is it not a bit chilly? <laughs> Being on an op open top. I that's said the that. word. I'm I looking said for. that. Oh, did you? I didn't hear you, sorry. <laughs> open top bus. Oh, anyway, my should goodness. We go on? Should we go on? Come on, come on, come on. We're serious. It's so in. It's serious. Um, so, uh, good, welcome back. Oh, no, I don't say welcome back. I don't know why I said that because we've never been anywhere, have we? Uh, good <laughs> the sooner we get started, yeah, this one, this will go out when it's live, right. Uh, now, we've got Helen Newton's pattern. Helen Mirren hasn't drawn this. Helen Newton has drawn this. It's the flower shop. Here it is. Yep, there it is. Beautiful, isn't it? All free motion embroidery and um, applique or applique. Um, and I've got a bundle for you here. So what you can do is you get the instructions. It's brand new today. Brand spanking new today. Uh, this is uh, Helen Newton's pattern. With that, you get... Uh, your green fabric, half a metre of your green fabric, you get, that feels like a fat quarter. No, is that? Yeah, fat quarter, is it? Yeah, fat quarter of your cream, or your, no, it's not cream, it's ivory. Ivory, that's for your background. Then the panel that we're offering is exclusive to Sewing Street. So these are all the fabrics that you need to create. Now, I know a lot of you think, oh, I'd like to do it with the stash because it matches in with something else, but this way, 
all the fabrics you need for the whole of the front of the cushion. In fact, you can make the whole cushion, can't you? Because the green is the cushion itself, the cream is the background of the pattern, and then all of this is the flower shop cushion colours that you need. And it even tells you where they go. So you've got the shop awning one, shop awning two, shop blind, pointy thing. What does that say there? It says pointy something. <laughs> oh, pointy topiary. The pointy topiary pot, the tree chunks, it's everything. It goes a bit blurry here, extra fabric. Oh, they're extra. That's your semicircle window. Anyway, well, you'll see all of this being done in the next hour. Beautiful, isn't it? So the whole bundle, $19.99. So really, all you have to supply is a cushion pad to go, pad, to go inside. Lost my voice, son. It's lovely, isn't it? So the, the, the panel is exclusive to Sang Street. Then we've got the instructions, the fat quarter of cream, and the half a metre of that lovely, is that chartreuse? The chartreuse. All of that for $19.99. Now, if you're sitting at home going, oh, that's such a shame. I really wanted to do it to match in with all the other furniture in my conservatory. Well, that's fine because you can buy the pattern on its own if you want to. There you go. Pat $9.99, uh, Helen Newton's Flower Shop Cushion. Now, can we go to the uh, website? Because I also want to just show you very quickly, because what we thought we'd do is, I know a lot of you messaging going, oh, I missed out on this one, or oh, I missed out on that one. We have put all the patterns on pre-order that we can do, that we have still in stock of Helen Newton's. Now, there's not many of them. So what you need to do is you go to the front page, you watch live, yeah. Now look, the best seller of the day is the flower shop pattern, did you say? Yep, kit, the kit, the kit. Right, okay, so now scroll down, we're in, now we're in pre-order, go to pre-order. There's the rulers that we didn't get time to play and everything. So, what patterns have we got? Oh, I think they're quite that low down, uh, right, okay, stop, 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 stop. So we've got three bears, which you'll see on the wall behind Cara when we come back to live. Sewing room which is behind me on the wall. Uh, then we've got Potting Shed behind Kara on the wall. Japanese Girl behind me. Now you see this, you see the sheep? Oh, right, I was about to tell you the sheep one. Jackie Lewis made me that sheep one. I've got it on my, you know, my big throne chair at home. It's on my big throne chair at home. It's lovely, it's sold out now, I can't talk about that. Uh, three elephants. Behind you. It's behind me, behind, behind me. There's a bundle, there's a bundle of what? Oh, and we've got a couple of bundles for the elephant one, if you want to do the elephant one. And then, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, now, and also in the next hour, Akara's next hour, right down at the bottom, because it's the last hour, isn't it? There you go, the washing line one, both the panel, and both the pattern and the bundle are there at the bottom of the shop. So Hannah wants the sheep and the washing line. She'd like the sheep and the washing line. I've already got the sheep, I don't need the sheep, thank you. Oh, you've, you, does that all, have you got the whole set? Oh. Yeah. Anyway, 9.99 is, is the pattern. Right, shall we get on? Shall we get on? Oh, no. Do you want me to introduce and Let me introduce other things. Then I don't have to keep interrupting Cara then, do I? So, Bonderweb. You do need Bonderweb if you haven't already got some in your stash. Now, this one is the little packet. We haven't got it on the roll at the moment. Shelley said, John, whose teeth have you got in today? Oh, I'm, I'm tripping over my words. Oh, hang on, Elaine says, we're all in the same boat. Some have yachts, some have canoes. Oh, I tell you, yeah, mine's a canoe, well and truly. At 2 99 is your bond web, little pack to bond web. 17 and a half by 1 metre 20. It's a long, thin strip, that one. But plenty, that's plenty to do your cushion, yes. isn't it? Plenty to yeah. do a cushion, plenty to do a cushion. Right, then I've also got iron-on interfacing, which I don't know what you need this for, but Cara will explain when she's doing a <laughs> demo. I'm waiting for your graphics, Hannah. Oh, there you go. Hannah was busy chattering away. I thought she forgot to press the button. 3.99. That's always brilliant to have in your stash anyway, your, your iron-on interfacing, one metre square. Then we've got what we call Roger, right? And it's only because Hannah gave him that name because she fancies him. 
Mind you, I think Roger might have been overtaken by the boy in the book. The boy in the book is more popular now. But this was Roger. And when we used to work at Sand Quarter, Hannah used to ask everybody who bought Stitch and Tear to send in the picture of Roger. And our whole kitchen wall was covered in pictures of Roger. We don't know that his name's Roger. We think he'd more, or a Kurt, or a Helmut, or something like that, right? But um, anyway, she's decorated the kitchen now, so he's been cast aside. And then last but not least, I've got my applique mat. Oh yeah, I haven't got the light box here, but I'll show you the light box in a second. Oh, oh, there you go, it's still at the early bird price. Saving a pound. And, right, okay, Carl's going to use a light box as well. Now, the early, now what it is, is it, the price is the same for the, uh, not the same as this, the same as it normally is, but you get a free gift. I think this is the one, isn't it? Yeah, you get two friction pens. A3 light box. I'm not going to hear you. You're going to see Cara using it in a minute. A3 light box. It's on the website. There it is. And you get two free friction pens. Now, can I just say, can I just say, go and Google how much that light box, not that light box, but that size light box is. Go to Argos, go to Hobbycraft, go to Art. What's the shop you like going to? Art. Who? Cass Art. Go to all of them. Go and have a look. Don't, you don't need to check out on mine now, but please go and have a look how much A3 LED light boxes are elsewhere. Jackie, the lady who made me the cushion, she bought her A4 one elsewhere and she paid more than we're selling our A3 one for. Just so you know. And you get two friction pens, as they say. Friction. Oh, Cara de la Vigne. <laughs> what is he on? I so want where some did of you it. Go? Where, well, apparently I was very subdued yesterday. Oh, oh there you go. It. This is making up yeah, for you're it. Yeah, making up for it now. Making up for it now. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. Oh, look how little I am. <laughs> Is that better? Oh, that's better. That's better. <laughs> look at the size Why of my face so compared little? to yours. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's going to be one of those days. It already is one of those days. But having said that, it's really, really busy because the first <laughs> hour, 80% of the stock of, oh of everything goodness. we showed went. And you are now about to do the best selling item of the day, which is the kit for the flower shop. We haven't even started the demo yet. <laughs> oh, hang on. The cushion is in the wrong place. We, where would you like it to go to, Hannah? Oh, you don't have to have me in the box. Apparently, you can't see it when it's when the box is in. So, well, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Right, OK. So, we all love Helen Newton's designs oh, anyway. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I love getting the new ones because yes. I'm just sort of like, oh, what's it going to be next? What's it going to be next? So, um, I'm so happy to bring this you know, to everybody. It's such a beautiful design. Anybody who loves flowers and loves um, sort of the spring and, you know, wants to sort of work on something. And I love the fact that you can either have the panel that's got all the pattern fabric on or you can use your stash. Well, I was going to say, some people will make this for a certain room in the house and they might have a colour scheme in that yeah. room, which our colour scheme might just not work. No. I mean, it's brilliant that you don't have to use the stash if you buy the panel, but I think it's nice that we can offer the pattern as well yes, so people definitely. can make that choice, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Right, okay, so shall I get started or shall I go for a wander again? No, you can, you can go for a wander <laughs> after this hour. Um, I've got a bit of a, a, a cryptic comment here from Sudo. Any emails arrived yesterday, John? Ooh. And then Sue says, John, you do make me laugh. Keep being you. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> right, okay, go on, get on with it. Okay, get on with it. I love it. <laughs> well, Hannah's told me not to touch that part, so oh, okay. I'm not going to touch right, that then. part. Um, so the instructions are very, very comprehensive, as Helen's instructions always are. Yeah. And a clear colour photograph on the front, so you can see... Um, but you don't have to follow that. You can do your own thing, which I love. I absolutely love. And then you have all your pattern pieces on the front and the back there. And what I'm going to concentrate on is um, the actual canopy there yep. and also the flowers. And then I'll move on to um, placing the other pieces and starting some free motion if there's time. Um, the reason why I'm doing the canopy is that the um, green strip that goes across the front of the canopy there 
is not a pattern in oh, here. It's not, Helen. <laughs> it's not mentioned, but it's ever so straightforward, yep. ever so simple. So I thought um, we'd have a little bit of a go with that. Brilliant. <laughs> we, we, we gave Helen a, a, um, a challenge when we last saw her, and we were saying, saying quarter, because we were saying, like, you've done a flower shop and you've done a bakery. Not this flower shop, this one's brand new. This one's brand new. But we said, when are you going to do a pound land? And when are you going to do a... a she's like, I'm No, <laughs> please don't, Helen. But the pub she did. It yes. was identical to the pub in my village. It's oh, like she'd goodness. been to the village, my village. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, lovely, so where lovely. do we start? If we okay, do this, where do we so start? Um, what I'm going to do is just explain a bit about um, transferring your designs onto your um, fabric and also onto your Bondaweb. Okay. And I've got some Bondaweb here. So um, you will actually trace all your pieces onto Bondaweb, and a light box is useful. But you can see without a light box, you can actually see through that quite clearly. But if you switch the light box on, yeah. it'd be even, be even better. There you go. It's got four settings, yes. this light box, four yeah. different settings. So what I'm going to do, and also what you want to do is um, you transfer the pattern, you trace it through, and um, you want the paper side of the bonder web upwards. Right. And then the other side has the glue on it. And then I actually just use a crayon because it doesn't a matter a crayon. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's the Hampshire accent. I was going to say, well, crayon. <laughs> what, what, do you, <laughs> what do you call it? Crayon. Crayon. Yes. Right, it's a crayon. Thank you. <laughs> crayon. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and you just draw, you're just drawing I'm just around drawing around that. And as I say, with a crayon. Crayon. Yeah, whatever. Okay, whatever. Um, so you draw around that and don't worry about the thickness of the pencil. That really doesn't matter. Right. And then you will roughly cut that out and then iron it on. When I get the iron out, I'll yeah. show you how to iron it on. So you'll do that with all your pieces. So you'll go round and, as I say, be quite economical with your um, bond web you can go quite close to the edge there but you do want a little bit of um, bond web around where you've drawn right um, and I'll explain the reasons why. So you do you draw and cut draw and cut draw and cut or do you draw them all if you're at home would you draw them all on? Draw them all on right. and then um, it's lovely you draw them all on and it's so therapeutic you know just sitting there tracing yeah. um, it's just so nice um, draw it all onto your bond web then sit down, cut it roughly out, and then um, I get my little ironing board. I've got a little ironing board, um, and then I transfer everything onto the different patterns of fabric. Um, I use the front cover as a guide, but you don't have to. You can you know, play around with all mm -hmm. the different fabrics and things like that. So what I wanted to do was just say that um, for the flowers, for the sign, you actually want to trace this. I'm not going to trace it, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you trace it onto your. Um, you just trace the shape the of shape. the outside yeah, shape yeah. of the flower sign onto your bond web, and then you pop that onto the fabric. So the back of the fabric here actually has the bond web on. I've taken the paper off. You don't have to take the paper right, okay. off, but the bond web's there. And then with a friction pen, which I had. Yeah, you've been given that. To go, yes, I have. Um, you would then just position that, and then trace right. If I just sort of say, I've actually used a larger piece of fabric here right. because I found it much, much easier to um, free motion the sign, so right. the lettering. Um, although there's fabric included on the panel for this particular part, I actually did it on some of the white fabric around the edge. Right, okay. Because I found that if I actually did it to the size that was on the panel, um, if you're not that confident with um, machine free motion, um, the fabric's quite small. Mm -hmm. So um, I found that it was much, much easier to actually put it on a larger piece of fabric. And as I say, I use some of the cotton fabric around the edge. Can I just ask, is there, uh, uh, on the flower sign looking here, it looks like there's a border, like a darker green border. Yeah, there's, um, that's another piece of fabric. Okay, so we're, yeah. we've, we've not got that's, to that bit yet. Yeah, sorry, that's sorry. a separate um, yeah. piece yeah. of fabric. Okay. So you're only, um, 
tracing round the inner part of the sign. Okay. And then with the friction pen, you just trace very easily. And this is where the light box comes into its own because yeah. I'm actually tracing and I've got the pattern and also the fabric. So if I was to switch that off, it's it is visible, but it's not yeah, as it clear. Make it easier. Yeah, it makes it much easier. So you just trace that, and with the friction pen, this is just a temporary marking, and yeah. it's just a guide for you. With the lettering as well, if you wanted to, you could do it just with a normal machine stitch. You could lift the free dogs and actually do it like that. Mm -hmm. So it's entirely up to you what you want to do. So now that I've done that, I've actually, with the friction pen, just marked around the edge. Just going to drop a line across the top there as well, because that's where I'm going to be cutting. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but what you don't want to do is actually press that now, because I've already taken the paper off the back of the bond web, and if you press it now to get rid of the friction pen, it will stick to your eye. Exactly. Board. <laughs> okay, so that's what you'll do with that. So I'm going to um, move the light box now and do this with um, the free motion foot. Just pop that down. So if, no, if somebody's not done free motion before, yeah. they need a free motion foot. Yes. and uh, Also are called a darning foot sometimes. Yeah, there are different ones. Um, in this particular machine, there are a couple of different ones. Um, there's an open toed one there. Don't know if you'll be able okay, to I'm going to just look at those. Just twist it light, light down flat on the desk. There you go, perfect. Okay. Um, so these are the ones we're not using today. Yeah, there's lots of different ones, yeah. but um, you know, again, go to your manual yeah. and check your manual yeah. and find out what works best for you. And some machines might not have it, but you, you know, most machine companies will sell, like Elna do sell one. So if you buy the five, 55, 65, 70 when they're in stock and you want one, you can buy them from Elna. Um, to fit the machine, you must always get one that fits your machine. Yes. Um, and also, if you don't, like Hannah was just saying, oh, what happens if I don't want to do free motion embroidery? Yes, you can do it with a normal stitch. You can you? definitely do it with an embroidery stitch. Um, if you don't want to use Bondaweb, you can actually just cut the pattern pieces out and maybe with a glue pen or something, stick them in position and then you can hand stitch them or you can do it um, on the machine without, um, you know, uh, doing the free motion. Yeah. But don't be frightened of free motion. Yeah. I, the, it's taken me really until now to feel a lot more confident. Watch this space though, I'll most probably make a yeah. mistake. <laughs> so sorry. But I feel a lot more confident and it is just practicing. Um, I always practice. Before I do a design, um, I always cut out. There's plenty of spare fabric. Right. Um, so I always cut some little pieces out. And if there's anything that I'm not sure about, then um, I will actually have a go. And you were asking about the um, interfacing. Yeah. Um, you want a stabiliser behind the cotton. The cotton's lovely, but you want something that's going to be a little bit more um, stable. Right. That's the word I'm yeah, looking yeah. for. Yeah, so the back of the, the cream fat quarter yep. that you're using for the background. Um, do you, is, this, is it either or with the stitch and tear and the interfacing? Yes. So it's either... Either, either interfacing or the stitch and tear. Okay. I prefer personally the interfacing, yeah. but I know a lot of people will actually prefer the stitch and yeah. tear. And that literally is what it says on the packet. You it stitch is. it and then you yes. rip the paper from behind yes. it. And it is just to help you when you're actually doing your free motion. The other thing I found that um, is polish your, um, what's this part of the machine called? There is a name for bed. it. The bed of the machine. Polish the bed of the machine so it's nice and smooth and your fabric will slip yeah. quite easily. If you've got a Teflon sheet, that would be even better, wouldn't it? Yes. You can buy those Teflon sheets, can't yes. you, to spread over. Yeah. Yes, which is really nice. And I love these. Oh, I was showing those off earlier, yeah. Bit of magic, bit of magic. Had you not used them before, then? I've never used them before, and I've really, really found it so much easier. So much easier. Um, I don't know why, you've just got more control. Um, you know, your hands won't move on the fabric, so don't mm. feel that you've got to have something like this, but it really, really is magic, so. Oh yeah, it's like, like lots of people have said, <clears throat> why do I need those gloves? And then they've 
borrowed them or used them or had them whatever and going oh my goodness why well, didn't I have these before no I know so um these have really really helped me when I've been doing um Helen's designs uh -huh. so right so what you'll do on your machine you'll actually drop the feed dogs and the feed dogs on this machine are on the right hand side and that means you're dropping the teeth here mm -hmm. if you've never looked at the machine and seen they've got these lovely teeth which actually um, control the um, speed of the fabric. If you drop those teeth, you have the control over your fabric. Um, so you would drop your feed dogs, um, you pop the um, darning foot on. I've done the um, actual cushion, the sample, and what I'm using today, I've, I've got a, a lovely dark green um, for the top of the um, machine and also a green for the bottom. I found that if I had a white underneath, sometimes the stitches, depending on how quickly you put the fabric through, sometimes the stitches came through to the top. So I actually found it better to have a toning thread on the bottom. I haven't got enough black at home to be able to do it all in black, but I actually quite like but the I think sometimes, I, don't, I think a darker colour always works, but it doesn't have to be black. It no. It grey, it no. be brown. Like on this one, a green's going to work because you've got yep. so much green within all the fabrics and things. So you've got your darning foot on. When you put the lever down to drop the, um, the foot, the darning mm. foot, um, you'll see that there's a gap underneath. So between the foot and the fabric. Mm -hmm. And what I do is actually turn, I'm going to start at the bottom, I'm going to move that actually. You can turn your needle and if you see, when you turn your, sorry, turn your... Um, Clutch. Oh, my well, words today. I I'm think it's really been sorry. on the top of that bus in the freezing <laughs> cold. I'm so sorry, everybody. I haven't had a coffee this morning. Um, so you pop the um, foot and it will come down onto the fabric as mm -hmm. you turn and you drop the needle down. The other thing that you can do is just take the thread out of the way. And I drop mine down as close to the fabric as possible. And you can move your fabric as you need to. And then if you've got a needle up, needle down, you can actually at this stage put the needle down into yeah. the fabric. And I find that much, much easier than trying to guess where you're going to start, especially on something like this that's got um, lettering. Sorry, I need to just move that over. I've got so many plugs under here. Right, so I've dropped my needle down. Your machine, this machine has gone to a zero stitch length. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have a specific stitch length. You are going to control it. And as you can see, that sign is quite narrow. Uh -huh. So if I did do it just to the size of that fabric, um, you'd have to have a lot more control over it. Because I've got um, you know, a larger piece of fabric, I should have more control. Also, if it's narrow like that, there's more chance it's going to get swallowed down into, yes. that, into the thing, isn't yes. it? Yes. So then, and the speed at which, I'm going to just get rid of the end of the thread, the speed at which you move the fabric through will determine your stitch length uh -huh. as well. So I've come to the top, because I've got the needle down, it's actually stopped at the top of the F there. And normally you'd want to turn your fabric round, but yeah. you don't. You keep your fabric as it is, and then you just stitch to the side, and back again, and then down and across. And we're going to do two rows of stitching for each letter. So that's the F done. Rather than cut the thread at this stage, you lift your needle up, lift the lever up, and you can move over and move to the top of the next letter. Mm -hmm. So again, do the same. So put my lever down. I'm going to drop the needle, which moves the darning foot into position, then drop the needle down again, and come down and across. And you're sketching, really, with a needle and thread, which is lovely and then move over. What you'll be doing is cutting the thread once you've finished. Sorry, I'm just going to move that slightly. Once you've finished all the letters, uh -huh. you can cut those, <coughs> those ends of threads. We had some fantastic um, snippers from Fiskars on the show yesterday. They yes. Brilliant for that. They were, uh, weren't they, Hannah? They were lovely. Oh, they sold out today. Oh, ignore me then. <laughs> 
So as you can see, it's really, really simple. So, you know, if you want to put somebody's name at the top of this shop or something different, you know, I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do the lettering. Oh, uh, who, who was it just messaging? Bronwyn is messaging saying, oh, have you got your gloves on the wrong way round because the bobbles are upwards? They're on both sides, Bronwyn. Yes. They're on both sides. They're on both sides of the finger. So it's not, not that Cara's got them on upside down. Can you see? Yeah. She only knows they're on the right way because it's got the red whiting on. And she knows yeah, I had to do it. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Left and right. I'm um, not sure why they're on both sides. I wonder if you could um, swap the hands. I don't know. Don't know, really. Not sure why. Oops. So then you carry on and do your lettering. So I hope that helps. Did you say we had a question about the foot, Hannah, as well? Melanie's asked a question. Morning, John. Do you always need a special foot for free motion? My manual only says about using a darning plate. I'm confused from Melanie in Northamptonshire. I would try it, Melanie. I would really try it because a lot of machines do have the darning plate, um, which covers the feed dogs. So oh, yes. They're on the usual yes. machine where you can't drop the feed dogs. Yes. So it goes over the top of yep. the dogs. But I think you might need a special foot as well, though, wouldn't you? Mm, no? Uh, I don't know. I like the fact this particular foot is clear and there's two red lines so you can actually see where you're stitching. Yeah. If you use a normal foot, just try it with the different foots that you've got on your machine. Um, and I really would, that would be what I would do. Yeah. So if I was given a different machine, I'd just actually practice um, with whatever I've yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it could work. I, yeah. I, it, just that we're so used to seeing the darning foot or the yes. uh, free motion I'm foot. sure <clears> somebody <throat> who's watching has maybe done it. Yeah, yeah, if you know the yes. answer to it, let us know and let Melanie know. So, I had a bit of a wobble, but... Um... <laughs> well, sign writer was having a bad day yeah. that day. Been to the pub too early. Uh, uh, not, not open yet? No, no. I won't be going yet. I won't be going yet. Well, no, because it's really weird because I, when we were at um, Birmingham, I used to go to a gym in Birmingham and I've still got a... And they sent a message out last week, uh, yesterday, saying, oh, session start again on Monday. What time do you want to book in? And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to go into a no. sweaty gym yet. No. Anyway. Depends on the gyms. Um, I actually work at a local gym. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course you um, do. And they are really, really good for cleanliness, for keeping distance. Mm for air circulation, yeah. um, for getting people, when they come in, they actually register online, so you don't have to actually um, speak to the receptionist, yeah. really. You've done it all online. Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so you just sit with your computer, do you? Don't go in. <laughs> and um, so, you know, it really, really is safe. Oh, yeah, um, no, I'm sure mine is as well, yeah. but I, then you, do, you can't guarantee that the other people in no. the you know, like you feel a bit going, oh, could you just step away? Oh, could you just step away? Please? Yeah, but I think a lot of people that go to the gyms are quite good. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the members that we have are really, really good. And um, they wear masks as they walk around. Oh, that's the point. Do we have to wear a mask when we're doing exercise? Not when you're actually doing the exercise, but the equipment is, um, I think ours is three metres. Right. So you're never closer than right, okay. um, sort of two or three metres oh, okay. with anybody. And then they have a time session and they wipe all the equipment down. Yeah. Everybody goes out at the same time and everything is wiped down and then, you know, the next oh, wow. session comes I know the one in. I go to in Stratford's like that, but it's a yeah. tiny, tiny gym, but the one yeah. in Birmingham is massive. Yes. I'm presuming they'll, they have to. They will do. they wouldn't be allowed to yeah, stay open. They yeah, will exactly. do, they but will do. It just in, it's been a weird year and you yes. kind of think, it's like when I went to the dentist and suddenly you're sitting in a room, everybody around you's got yes. PPE and a mask on and you're sitting there with no mask on. Yes, you're like, it's quite I know I'm safe, but it feels weird that I'm the only person that hasn't got a mask I know, I know, I know. It's going to take a little while yeah, for everybody, you know, but, um, you know, the pub sits going to be outside. I'm just hoping that on Monday it's not cold and rainy. But, well, um, Hannah anyway. will still be sitting outside in her <laughs> pub garden. Um, uh, the darning foot is the same as a free motion foot. Yeah, Jackie, it is. But that, uh, all that Melanie had was the darning plate. She didn't have a darning foot. She had a darning plate. Okay. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Let's look at this quickly. 
Uh, morning all. Oh, I can't free gorgeous. motion at all. I made your Helen Newton elephant cushion for my mum's birthday and did it with a oh, machine blanket stitch. Beautiful. She loved it. Loved all at Saint Street, keeping us sane through lockdown from Cheryl Dunoon. Oh. oh, Cheryl, that's gorgeous. Isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And I love the choice. Yeah, I love the choice of colours. Because they're different the boards on that one. Have, have you used your own fabric for that one? Because our board, ours didn't have a board like that, did it? It's beautiful. Uh, can you drop the feed dogs on all machines? Uh, Michelle, I think you can, can't you? Most, yeah. Yeah, most. most. Or if they don't, you should have, like Mich um, Melanie the, the, had earlier, plate. a darning plate yes. go over the feed yep. dogs. When we were taught free motion at school in the 80s, we did not have a foot, just the needle. Oh, and we used a hoop. Just want to say thank you for my mug, which arrived yesterday, says Marie. You're very welcome. Very interesting watching this, though, uh, says Lulu. Thank you. Oh, no, Bronwyn, don't worry at all. We're not offended at all. And like we say, no questions, that's a silly question. She's saying, sorry, she thought that your gloves no, were on. No, not at all. I mean, when I got them, I was thinking, oh, yeah, I must make sure that the bubbles are on. And then I thought, oh, actually, do you know sides. what? It was on both sides. Yeah. So I, I even... don't know if they are on, on all mates. No, it's just that so no, easy. No, the so easy, easy ones are, yeah. which is um, good. Eileen's got a quick message. Morning, John and everyone. Love Helen's cushions. Have all of them, oh, I've got all of them, can see this one being added to my collection. Aww. My poor bank card. You yeah, don't forget the washing line as well, Eileen, coming up later. <laughs> <clears throat> so once you've done your machining, you'll um, take a sharp pair of scissors, cut the thread, and then you'll cut it out around the line that you've already drawn. So I want to try and move on a bit yeah, quicker, yeah, yeah, if that's do. okay. Don't worry if you go over a bit. It's, it's fine if you go over. You it's sure? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So... You've cut out all your pattern pieces, you've done your um, sign, and then the canopy is the next thing that you'll do. Okay, quick question then. You, look, you've, would you, have you put your green border on your cream before you do any of yes. the applying? Yes. So you have two... I'm going to take these off now. <laughs> I, feel, <laughs> I really do feel a little bit like, <laughs> I don't know, a magician or something. Um, you have two short pieces of fabric, which are top and bottom and then the two longer pieces of fabric for the side. Then you'll actually press um, either your um, interfacing, iron-on interfacing or sew-in interfacing, or put a piece of the stitch and tear, and then you'll start your stitching. Okay. So, um, so what I've done with the canopy is I've actually um, stitched that on because I wanted to show you the other part. So you'll cut a strip of um, fabric and put your bond web on the back of that and that will be the width of the canopy so you want to put your canopy on first and then do that so is the canopy made of lots of little lots sections lots of little cut? sections yeah. yeah there's 11 um sections and on the panel that we're um selling today it's very very similar to the um the one that on the pattern, on the actual front cover of the pattern. So you've got those two larger pieces on your left hand side in the middle. Okay, so yep. that's part of the canopy there. Yep. And then the stripe, oh, the one underneath it, yep. yeah. So you've got your two fabrics for your canopy there. So you cut out the scallopy shape yep. and do them in um, the You yeah. cut out on the um, pattern, there's a canopy template. Okay, perfect. And you'll cut six from one fabric and five, five from, from a contrasting okay. one, okay? Um, so then you've cut your um, stripe, and I use some of the chartreuse again, and then put bond web, and then you pop that on top. Okay, so there's no pattern piece for that? No, there's no pattern piece. I made mine about a quarter of an inch. Okay. I'm just going to actually trim that bit off at the end. And then the fun bit comes where you're actually going to place all your pieces. So, in true Blue Peter fashion, mm -hmm. I'm going to, I did have <laughs> my flowers. Oh, yeah. So you were saying about the other rectangle. Yeah. So I've cut that out of the, the um, fabric that's on the panel. Yeah. I've kept the paper on the back. Mm -hmm. And then you'll place, I've taken the paper off the back of that, and you'll place that in position oh, like that. Yeah. And then press that in position. And then 
all of this is very, very easy to follow in the pattern. Don't know where the best place there. Yeah, that. Okay. Oh, so you use the picture on the front of the pattern yes. as your placement if yes. you want to make it identical to heaven. Yes. Um, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. You can do your own thing. I'm you can put the front door on the other side if you want to. You can. Yeah. You can. And in fact, you'll notice that um, I played around with the position of the pots and the plants oh, and everything. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, yes. she did, yeah. yeah. Was that okay? It's up to you, isn't it? It's your <laughs> demo. <laughs> I'm just going to get a pin. Also, oh, no, I said, no, no, ignore me. I've got my glasses on. <laughs> I thought you'd done a different shaped pot on one of them, but you haven't. No, I hope not. Well, no, no, but the plant pot on the picture here. Yes, looks squatter. Looks flatter than yes, your, your plant yeah. pot, yeah. Whatever that green one is in the in the um, the pink pot, I rather like that one. Yes. So you're going to. I've got to... that plant in my garden. Mm -hmm. You're going to. Um, so you've attached the two, and you're going to position that just below and try and get it in the centre, but it doesn't matter if it's not exactly in the centre, and you pop that in place. Okay. Whoops. Now, on the, on the, I'm just looking now on the pattern, each of the pattern pieces has got like a little icon in the middle of yes. it to say what it is as well, yes. isn't it? Yes, so um, you'll notice that Helen very, helpfully has actually popped this one looks like a tulip so she's popped a tulip on the pot that goes with the the other parts um, of that flowers plant, yeah. and then a little open with two little flowers on that goes with that one that one goes with oh that yes one. So it's like a key so all so the lotus ones yes. go together all the daily yep. looking ones go together oh that's clever but what are these donkey's hooves at the bottom here <laughs> they're the little um flowers just Oh, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Just there. Okay. Yeah. So now um, you want to position everything. I'm going to move my irons so I don't get tempted to press, press something anything, before no. I'm ready. And again, you'll use this as a guide. So the door, I've taken all the paper off the back, so the door will position just to the right and then your window so i'm matching the top of the window with the actual door and this is where you can play around with it mm -hmm. so i'm just going to pop those in position have you still all got all the papers on the back i've taken say? all the papers oh off. you've taken them off and yeah. that's why you've hidden the iron yes yeah. yes so i'm not tempted then this lovely stripy blind yeah goes underneath there so you'll spend a bit of time i may run out of time to do more um, free motion, okay, but, but I'm going to do. Hour. I was yeah, going yeah. to say I'll do some more <clears throat> free motion. Because even though it's a different pattern, the techniques yes. are the same. Aren't they? Yes, and I think positioning is um, very important yeah, when you're yeah, doing yeah. this. You carry on. So then um, this overlaps the border. So we've got the stripy one there. Oh, we've got another blind there. So that goes on the door. And using a friction pen as well, there's lots of other um, detailed areas. So uh -huh. using a friction pen is really, really good. Um, we've got the other plant there. You see, this always takes the placing of things like this. I love it. Well, it takes me back to, and I don't know if it was Romper Room on the telly when <laughs> I was little or something like that. Sorry? But it just takes me back to, they used to make, they're not like fuzzy felt pictures, but they used oh, to create. Oh, gosh, yes. I'm just you putting the blind behind the door frame, yes. and then I was like, Oh, that, that's, I'm like a four year, oh no, I can't be four, however old was when Romper Room was on. Ah. <laughs> Ru, Google it, you Google Romper Room. I'm going room. to actually put that one over there. That one there. So this is where you're layering. So you're actually, you know, if you've got your, um, the flowers and the lovely sort of little shrubs and everything, you can actually layer um, on, whoops, I've moved that. So this is why you want to do your placement and do it on the ironing board as well. So try and make sure that you get everything in the right position. Yeah. So this will go behind the pot there, but overlap with the window. Yeah. And then, love this topiary one. 
Uh, there's another one there. So there's loads of lovely little bits and pieces. Of course, yeah. There's that one, which is right in the corner. Which does overlap. Again. Yeah. That's why you've put your frame on, isn't yes. it? Because you've got ones overlapping, yeah. yeah. And that has the Follow your key lovely now, tall Cara. one. Sorry. Follow your key. <laughs> and then there's... I haven't taken the paper off this one. Some of the little pieces, if they're plain fabric, I don't take the paper off until I'm ready to position them. Right, okay. Um, just from the point of view, you don't want to actually iron the bond web on the wrong side. No. Turn that round the other way. Pop that over the top. Got that there. I might actually move that over slightly. So it's not so much gap. Oh, so this you is got your window and you, you, in your windy door, you're missing your like yep. arch window. Just happen to have that here. Okay. Oh, that goes on the top. Yes. I see you don't cut that one out. Yeah. Um, that's a, another thing is that um, on the pattern, when you're cutting out the window, this part you'll actually cut out. So right. when you've got your pink fabric, you'll cut that centre bit out right. and the same with the door there, uh -huh. but you won't with the, um, with the, window. the window at the top. So then the bits of pink that you've cut out, yep. have you used those somewhere else? No, but you can do. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So that goes there. Got another lovely tall. Do you have any fabric left over from the yes, panel? Yes, loads. So lots, oh, of, lots of fabric left over that you can play around with. And you, once you get into um, free motion and all of this, you'll be addicted. You'll definitely be addicted and want to do lots of others. Now, see, my door's further over. I'm going to put that topiary one just to the left there. Move that over. Pop that one there. Then I've got some little stems. Apparently Ron Perun went from 1950, what, three? To 1974. And then Derek's, oh, no, I went to 94. Are you sure? Blimey. And then Derek just put, my goodness, John, Ron Perun is a blast from the past. It would be in black and white, silent TV with Gran playing the piano in the background. No, I definitely remember the lady talking. Apparently, Ron Perun was an American TV show. No, no, it wasn't the American one. No, it wasn't the American one. No, okay, Jan says, apparently Ron Perun was an American TV show which aired between 1953 and 1994. I'm 63 and never heard of it. No, I've never heard of it. No, mine was an American. It was definitely a Middle England lady. I can't remember her name. There were some amazing um, television programmes years ago, oh, weren't totally, there? Oh, totally, totally. I still remember them now. I still re I'm afraid I can remember watching them in black and white. Oh, no, well, no, because <laughs> only one house in our street <laughs> had, had a colour telly. Oh, goodness. And I used to offer to walk their dog just to be able to sit <gasps> oh. and go in and look, watch a 70s TV series in colour. And it was just me. the most incredible. And our telly was like a, like a big old brown box. And you literally only had... BBC One, BBC Two and ITV and that was it. There was no other button on it. No remote. You had to get up and... <laughs> anyway. Oh, goodness. Those were the days. Right. Got one extra pot. Where uh -huh. am I going to pop that? I won't pop it in front of the door, I don't think. I may no. maybe move everything over slightly. So this is why it's good to um, position everything before you start before stitching. Before you yeah, start definitely. stitching. So I'm going to pop that one over. This is a beautiful floral shop, flower shop. It has so many different items. Pop that one behind. Right. Apart from the little hooves. Miss Rowland. Miss Rowland was the presenter of Romper Room. Thank oh you, Sue. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh now um, Jill says it was by Miss Rosalind. So it was either Rosalind or I think Miss Rosalind sounds better, sounds more likely than Miss uh, Miss uh, Roland. But anyway, Anglia okay. Television and the lady was called Rosalind. Oh, here we go. I've opened the floodgates. <laughs> Sorry, Cara. Don't worry, don't worry. We didn't have it where I lived. Didn't <laughs> Definitely. You? Well, you're no. much younger than me. That's why. Of course. Thank you. 
<laughs> after the cheekiness earlier. Um, right, I'm very, very happy with the position of all of that. So I'm going to use my um, sheet. Pressing my mat. My mat. mat. And the position of that on the um, board is perfect. I may have to move it over slightly. Mm -hmm. So just want to release the glue. Juanita says, John, you're right. It was English, not what she was, my children. Derek says, next thing you'll be talking about Muffin the Mule. <laughs> no, he's before my time, I think, Muffin the Mule, wasn't he? What about Ragtag and Bobtail? No. No, you see, the thing is, I, I jumped from Romp Room to cro Crossroads. And my <laughs> mum used to get really, really angry if she heard them, if I was in the lounge watching Crossroads <gasps> on the telly. And it, it was before remote control, so you had oh, to yes, get you had up to dive, and turn it over. Yeah. Yeah. Or sit, so your face was yes, that far yeah. away from the... Um, <laughs> oh goodness me right so everything is in position and I think I've only got a few minutes but yep. I will do a bit of free motion and as I say you have loads of fabric left over so what you could do is like a window box across there oh, yeah, yeah, which yeah, would yeah. be really nice and um, the other thing is is use your friction pen once you've ironed everything, if you look at your pattern, there's quite a lot of detail. So, for example, the window light above on yeah. the door, you can actually just draw with your friction pen. So you've got lines to follow, yeah. yeah. You don't want to iron it Before until you've machined it. it. Um, so there's nothing else there. On some of these, I think they're succulents. You might want to put... Which one? The big leafy one? Yes. Or cacti. Cacti. Yeah. Also, she's even done the uh, ring pull on the blinds yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. So on the door, you can use... And there's a line. Oh, I didn't do that one on mine. Oh. It's a line across there. And I found, actually, drawing some of my lines really helped. Yeah. Um, then there's a blind pull there um, and any of the fabric that's quite pale again I found it much easier to d use the friction pen to actually draw my lines that I'm going to be stitching so this is quite pale this one here so you could actually just do the shape of the flower there and this one's quite pale against the background. Some of these haven't stuck down completely because I moved the iron before they had. No. So hopefully they're in position that they won't move. But don't worry if you want to press them again, it will get rid of the friction pen and you'll just have to um, do it again with the okay. friction pen. Yeah. Okay, the other one oh, is, yeah. yep, down either side, there's some bricks, the side of the actual shop there and there and there's some detailed areas of a few bricks so what you can do about an inch from the edge or half an inch from the edge you want to make sure that the door's still in there that's the side of the building and then you can draw just the odd brick yeah just those finishing touches. Oh, isn't honestly, it? and you can do loads, loads and loads more. So we'll have the side of the building there, about the same as we had on that side. And just a couple of bricks. Mm -hmm. Have I got time to do a bit of. No. Oh, really? No. But you can do more stitching in your next hour. Oh, okay. Sorry. You can do it in your dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's absolutely fine because uh, because we, we it, as I say we've got the same the same um, techniques coming up in the, in your next day. Would you like me to actually put the pieces onto the fabric so I can get straight onto the um, free motion? Uh, if you like, help? yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, you leave leave like a couple of things yep. off. Yeah. Shows how you've made the trousers yep. or the skirts, whatever, and then concentrate yep. on the. the yeah. Rather right? than positioning Perfect. this particular one, because there's quite a few pieces, yes. it takes a little no, while. No, I was going to say I think the posi yep. the positioning on this one is more important. The next one is you've got the position, but they were just on a washing line, yes. aren't they? So it's 
it's not like no, overlaying you're not. and things yes, like that. Yes, that's right. That's Brilliant. Right. That was fantastic, Carl. Lots okay. of people coming in saying what lovely demo. Can I just tell you, though, that she used to have a magic mirror and it was romper bumper stomper boo magic mirror <laughs> tell me do have all my friends had fun today and if your name got called out in the mirror you had to cheer oh my gosh better than that oh hang on john i was on romper room <gasps> in june 1969 on the fifth birthday i was the milk monitor and i also got to say please Mr. Music Man, oh, will you wow. play? Who's that from? Catriona. <gasps> Isn't it funny? Oh, I just, my what, gosh. You sticking a blind behind the door <laughs> made me see the set of Romper Room and the lady. Oh, there's another one. John. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, hi, John. It was Nancy Claster, the producer's wife. I don't know what that means. Who, hey, what? Maybe the lady. Oh, the lady, Miss Roslyn. Oh my word. And very quickly, I won a prize which was a cardboard studio with cameras and tables and cut out children and presenters of Robber Room. I wish I had it now. Janice, so do I. Right, come on. Uh, bundle, 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 bundle. Uh, here we go. The whole bundle. Best selling kit of the day so far, 1999. You get the instructions. You get half a metre of the chartreuse. You get a fat quarter of the ivory. And you get the exclusive panel, Sewing Street panel, with all the fabrics on there that you need to create all of the, the, the flower shop. Uh, and the instructions with all the templates and all the written instructions and everything you need. Instructions on their own. 9 99 I'll recap all the other things like Roger and the, the, the iron on interfacing when Cara's next hour starts. In an hour's time, Cara's going to be back, be back. Now, the washing line is already on pre order. It's right at the very bottom of the pre order. Again, you can buy the bundle and you can, or you can buy the pattern on its own. It's totally and utterly up to you. Uh, don't go anywhere because I've got brand new fabric coming up next, Once Upon a Time. Uh, we've even got a new duvet cover for Little Paul. We'll see you in three. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. 
You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. So this is the new visor that Elliot's making us wear now. I mean, it's very good. It looks a bit weird, doesn't it, and everything? And what's dreadful is when you take it off, your hair goes all over the place. But it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? Absolutely best to be safe than sorry. Right, now, oh, I've got so many goodies to show you. Oh, hang on, people are still going on about Romper Room. Oh, yes, Janice, we knew that. that, that. Morning, John and team, enjoying the show. You're keeping me smiling, says Wendy. Um, and Janice said it was originally American, but now UK it was a UK franchise. Right, OK, let's get started, because I've got loads. Little Paul's duvet cover. Why? Oh, so popular, this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm oh, sorry, I'm getting over. We're only doing the panel first, but I'm just looking at those. Mm. Right, panel first. This is the one that we think Little Paul's should have as a duvet cover. Well, we might have to make it a bit smaller for him, haven't we? Oh, look. Can you see all that on the camera? Oh, what I'll do is I'll let you see it like this first, and then I'll stand, I'll stand up and hold it. Oh, there's only two left. There's only two left. How big is it? Uh, 0.9 of a metre, it says. It actually says, not intended for children's sleepwear, just so you know, that's the way they cover themselves, Jan. Paul's not a child, so it's fine. Uh, there's more people got that in baskets. I do apologise. Right, now I've got another panel, which is a dragon panel. So that one's sold out. I'll put that one there. The dragon panel is um, there. Hang on, that goes up. This is very close to selling out as well, Hannah's just saying. So what does this one say? 
Brave little dragon. Dragon. I'm on uh, Game of Thrones. I'm Khaleesi. Oh, yeah, with my new visor, I can wear my glasses at the same time, but I can't eat chocolate biscuits. Hey, what? No. Well, right, so I'm loving the show. This reminiscing is great. Reminds me of Sunday night bed visits with the old ones told stories of the war. Oh, I, my nan was brilliant to that. When my nan used to come and stay, and she'd sleep on the sofa downstairs in the lounge, Derek, in the lounge. Um, and I'd go down in the morning, I'd sneak down in the morning, I'd get under a, which didn't have duvets, not there, blankets and everything, and we would tell me all about stories of granddad in the war and her in domestic service and things like that. It was lovely. It was such a brilliant time. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Brave little dragon. About to sell out. Okay, now I've got the fabrics to go with. So I'm going to do the fabrics first. Should I do the fabrics with the dragon fabrics first as we're on dragon? Yeah, I'll do dragon fabrics first because I'm on that. Okay, so I'll just show you everything I've got, right? So I've got two dragon fabrics, the same one in blue and one in white. And then I've got blue crowns as well. Now, if you like the blue crowns, you're going to love the pink crowns as well that's coming up in a minute. So, and then I've got one princess fabric, which is just divine. I'm going to get some of that. Right, so, 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 which one first? White background. It's knights, this one, not dragons. Well, there are dragons on there. <coughs> Half the stock went during pre-order. Khaleesi is my gra baby granddaughter's name. Shelley, no. Shelley, they called her after um, Game of Thrones. I love that name, Khaleesi. Anyway, it's what? <laughs> short dragon for short. No, because she'll be Grandma Dragon, won't she? It'll be Grandma Dragon Shelley. Anyway, look, dragon, him hiding behind a rock with a blackbird. I wonder what the blackbird, the significance of the blackbird is. Jousting. Can you also hang on, where am I pointing? Jousting. Castle. Now, that's very reminiscent of a castle we had on other fabric. Oh, yes, and she's a mini me, says Shelley. Oh, yes, so she's a little dragon then. How, that's, the, that's the same as the dragon off the panel there. It's lovely, isn't it? Is that the path? They've got a paved, crazy paving path going to the castle. <clears throat> oh, we've got little jousting tents as well. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, it's only five metres left. Five metres left. Dragons with blue back. That'll have sold out. So dragons with blue. Oh, this is nice. Same but different. Same but blue. It's a lovely blue, isn't it? Morning, John. My husband put a super speaker in my sewing room so I could listen to you over the noise of my machine. Took me 10 minutes to figure out how to turn it on. Ah. And Sue says, oh, thank you, Cara. A lovely demo. You're very funny this morning. Ah, that's nice. Not me, Cara. This is the one with the blue background, pale blue background. Same, it's the same print. It's the same print as the white one. It's lovely, isn't it? Keep checking out, though, because it's going to go. How many? Oh, less than 10 of that one. I'll keep that one out so I can remind you about that one later. The white one's going to go. Right, blue crowns. Is that what it's called? Once upon a time, tossed crowns. We had lots of fabric called that yesterday, didn't we? For, oh, oh, hang on, I haven't been looking at the price. <clears throat> so Hannah, my producer, is supposed to tell me these things. No, you've not mentioned the price, John. This is, do you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> it's going to sound really stupid. The Emmanuels. You know, did Princess Diana's wedding dress. And don't ask me why. I don't know whether they have a crown on their logo, or they had a crown on their logo, whether Elizabeth Emmanuel now has a crown on their logo. But it reminds me of that. I know, weird, isn't it? Look. Don't look at me. Here you go. 
deep blue. Oh, deep. No, oh, now, hang on. They've called this deep teal. That is nothing like a teal. That is, look at, you can see. It's, uh, okay, the one on the picture on the website looks like it's dusty, apparently. Uh, it's definitely, de oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely not teal. That is a French navy, if ever I saw one. <coughs> Keith's deck, well, can you go back to the fabric just for a minute? I just need to slurp some water because of all the dust's getting down my throat. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. I'll do pink grounds now. So that's going to be... Oh, thank you. This is 4 99 for half a metre. Because Hannah shouted. Oh, it was enthusiasm. I thought you were shouting at me. No. 4 99 This is the pink... Four ninety nine. It's hundred percent cotton. Excuse me, hundred percent cotton. Machine washable. Forty four inches wide. Quilting weight. Oh, is it quilt weight? Let me feel. Okay, it feels more like a poplin than a quilting weight, but you could quilt with it. And I know you're not supposed to. Well, I'm going to say it says on it, not intelligent for children's sleepwear. It basically it doesn't have the fire resistance in it that that you have to have for children's clothes. Yeah, one ninety nine. It's pretty, isn't it? The blue, a uh, pink, sorry, but blue. I mean, they're those together. If you're thinking of a different pro different project to the one I've got in my brain, I don't know where that came from. I do apologise. I'm moving on. Okay, look at this. You're going to love this. Now, this must have sold on pre-order. Look. Oh, it's, I, I think we've all got a bit of hay fever today. I'm very itchy, you know, Hannah's very sneezy, and her mask is dreadful because she's sneezing into her mask. Got, we had lots and lots and lots of this one, and a quarter of the stock went in pre-order. How cute is that? Oh, now she lives in a pink castle. Exactly the same design as the, the, the Knight's Blue Castle. And she's got a crazy paving pathway as well. I like a frock. A little bit out of proportion. Oh, no, it isn't because it's not floor length. Look, it's knee length. Just below the knee. That one's princess length. The what? Yeah, that's what uh, Katie Price got. Oh, hang on. Katie Price got married in one of those, didn't she? Oh, she was Jordan then, was she? Oh, okay, she was Jordan then. Frog? That's not hair, Hannah. That's the hole to its, its hole come through the hole of his house. Hannah thought, Hannah, let's have a look at it. Hannah thought the frog had an Afro hairdo. So are they, are they sisters, do you think? No. Oh, you know the story? Oh, okay. She was so convincing then. She went, no, no, John, they're not. They're cousins. And I was like, oh, there's obviously a story that I've been told about. Hannah thinks they're cousins. And is the one with blonde hair good and the one with black hair bad? And they've got to rivalry between them, even though they go to the same dressmaker. Oh, that's part of the rivalry. Well, except the one with blonde hair likes big sleeves. Yeah. Oh, she's got bingo. That one's got bingo wings. So now, whose is whose carriage? Do they share a carriage? No, they do, because all the carriages are the same. Oh, right, one white's a unicorn. The frog, where's the frog coming? Oh, no, they have to kiss the frog, because the, the frog will become the prince. And the butterfly. You know who played the prince, the boy out of Bridgerton, who's not going back into Bridgerton? What's he called? John michel Jarre, or well, something like that, isn't it? Pardon? Well, no, no, I think they knew he wasn't going to be in it because he only signed for one series. I think they're just using, might be using it as a publicity thing now. And also, the next series isn't about him. 
It's not about him. It's about the oldest Bridgerton boy and his exploits. And apparently it's much raunchier than the first series. Yeah. But he is mentioned the whole time because his wife, Sally Webster's daughter, you know, plays his wife, right? Sally Webster's in Coronation Street. It's her daughter plays Mrs. Bridgerton. She's still in it. So she goes, oh, I must go over to my husband. Or my husband's away on business at the moment. So he'll still be mentioned. Oh, I know all this. I don't know. Where's this coming from? He'll still be mentioned. But he'll still be mentioned. So she'll talk about him as though he's in the next room. But he won't be in the series. They're not going to be able to film that one yet anyway, aren't they? Because it's all a lot of touching and things, isn't there? So, well, no, no, not for the doubles, but for the COVID, I'm thinking of. Not because one of them might not have a body that you don't want to see without its corset on or something. I don't know. Hi, John and team. I'll move on. Could you ask the powers that be to sort out Yarn Lane? Oh, Anne, what's wrong? What's the matter? What's gone wrong? Let me know. Let me know, Anne, what you mean, what you mean. And then I'll, I'll try and sort it. We don't, we don't see the powers that be. So poor old Hayley every night gets an email from me saying, right, we need to do this, we need to... She never replies, she never replies. So I was just going to junk, I imagine, but anyway. Yep. This one's called, it's a different collection. It's called Unicorn Rainbows, but there's no unicorns on it. Just the rainbows. Now, what I, I had this the other day, didn't I, with something else. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, hang on, there's the rest of the message. Sorry. I don't even know. I have to go out. I want to take today and it's nothing wrong for 20 hours. Oh, I, I, okay, right. Hannah can email Hayley B about that because Hayley B's in charge of that, isn't she? Would that be all right, Hannah? <clears throat> I don't know if it'll get sorted immediately, though, Anne, because everyone's work either working from home or remotely in the office. <clears throat> I don't mean remotely. I mean distanced in the office and things. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll definitely uh, email Hannah, uh, Hayley B. We'll definitely email Hayley B. So will 20 hours take up the whole of your tape, then? Oh, sorry. Who's that from? Who, who was it then? Tracy, sorry, I didn't mean to offend anybody by that. It's just a, a fairy tale story. So it's like Odette and Odile, the swans in it's one Lake. The, the, the one in the white tutu is good and the one in the black tutu is bad. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of, I'm just talking like that. Anyway, rainbows and unicorns. Oh, it's only a metre left. Moving on. Oh, yes. I, I don't remember this one. Oh, OK, because I had this one, didn't I? I had this one the other day. <coughs> but I've never seen this one before. It's pretty, isn't it? Is that writing? That baby, baby writing between the, the stars? Or is it string? No, it's writing. I can see dressing gown. Anyway, it's lovely, isn't it? There's no gold, gold. There's no glitter. There's no glitter or anything. I don't think he says, I love you. I say, so get your dressing gown on, sunglasses. Doves. Oh, no, love. Love. There is love there. Love my. And then it blurs a bit. I don't know where the dressing gown bit comes from. Oh, I'll have to get. Do you know what? Let's. I'll get them on the native lights out later and have a look at that. It's pretty, though, isn't it? Still no news from Vix, I'm afraid. Still no news from Vix. She's getting a bit grumpy now about the baby not coming. She said, though, didn't she, right at the beginning, that um, she thought it was going to be two weeks late. It's only, what date is it today? Oh, six days late. Oh, surely they have to, um, oh, is it two weeks? I don't know. I've not had a baby myself. 
I know I've got the body like an old potato that is, but you know. Right, next. This one here. Right. I think, we had this the other day, when Clive made pajamas the other day, it came as, it's still going to be called pajama, I think, isn't it? Oh, lounge set, lounge set, lounge set, right? We both said, Hannah and I both said on that day, imagine if you're making a quilt for a child. Oh, you know what? If you got that panel of the princess panel, you could quilt it and use this as the backing. Or make a border of this. You get two and a half metres, I seem to remember. Oh, no, three. Three metres in there. Loads in there, loads in there. Well, yeah, no, 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 but you could use it for lots of things for a child's bedroom. But I'm just thinking if you did that, if you got that panel, it would look lovely with that, wouldn't it? But yes, cushions or things for, now do little girls have dressing tables in their room? Or on their desk they'll have storage pots, won't they, and things? I'm saying little girls, it could be any child, obviously. A birthday, well, no, because you can't have birthday parties yet, can you? Yeah. When? Mind you, you see, I'm, why can't they have both birthdays? Because they're in the classrooms together, aren't they? And yesterday, when did Dulcie and I go for a walk last? Not yesterday, Monday. When we went through the, the, the woods towards me on Vale, right, there were loads of kids. I mean, it was fantastic to see. Loads of kids, like, playing in the woods and, like, doing pretend, you know, kind of all what children should be doing. But they were all running in a big gang together, sort of thing. So nobody had a mask on. But what I'm saying is, it's a shame they can't still have children's parties because they're obviously in a classroom together and they're obviously out playing together, aren't they? Anyway. Next one. Big star fabric. Of course I can. Oh, I love this. This is available today in the bundle. These are all of our Rose and Hubble big stars that we offer, and, and Hannah's done a bundle for you. Now, they feel, yeah, I was going to say, they feel like poplin. These are cotton poplin. So you get half metre of the grey, half metre of the blue, half metre of the yellow, half metre of the pale pink, half metre of the fuchsia, half metre of the bright red. You could quilt with them. All you have to be careful of is just when you mix whatever fabric you mix it with, because it's a lighter weight. So it's the next weight down from a quilting weight. So mm, you could quilt with them, but I, if, if you're going to quilt with them or patchwork with them, I would keep two poplins. If, if can, because you can obviously quilt uh, patchwork with poplins, but I would stick with poplins, if you know what I mean. Haven't we had some other poplin today already? I've got another poplin coming up. They're lovely though. Oh, that's right. Yeah. There you go. I'd say, I'd say that, well, this is beautiful. I'd say that was more towards the lawn weight, but you're still peace with lawn. I'd say that was more lawn weight, that one. So they're not, they're not available by the half metre, they're just available. Oh, on the web, if you see any of those that you really like, you can buy those on the web. We haven't got them on our show today. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a pastel spot bundle coming up next. These are kind of more muted, these colours. I would, I would call it muted rather than pastel, personally, because you've got this one here, latte. Blue. Um, rose. A purpley. And a lavendery. Right, lilac, plum, rose, tan. Pale blue. That's nice, that's more, I'd say that was more grown up, that bundle. More of a, a grown up bundle. Don't you agree? They go beautifully together. You know normally I go, oh yeah, I'd do it, but I wouldn't have that one in there. They all go beautifully together. 18.99. Did you put this together, Hannah? Oh, Kat put this one together. I've got another spot. Now, is that pop? You did, that's not poplin, is it? Oh, it is. It is poplin. It is poplin. It is poplin. Now, I've got the brighter colours. So, this one I've got purple, bright blue, raspberry, red. Oh, there's more in this one. Yellow. And, oh, another blue. 
The blues are very similar, but one's more aqua and the other one's more sky. Right, hang on. Cerise, Copeland, Pastel Turquoise, Purple, Red, Yellow. No, where's Copeland then? Oh, no, hang on. The Copeland can't be in there because that's only the three metres. Yeah, you, you, the three metres there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's a three metre bundle. So I don't think you get Copen. So you get purple. That was like light turquoise. That one wasn't raspberry at all. Red, yellow and sky. £23.49. pence. Yeah, no, it's not coping that. And it is only three metres, and that's three metres. Yeah. Who made this bundle? Oh, OK. Not Cat's fault. We're not blaming Cat. It's a beautiful bundle, though, isn't it? So just to reiterate, there's no Copen in there. Just it's half, three, half a meter of each, and there's six different colours. Lovely. Oh, we love this one. This is another cotton pot plin. Brand spanking new today. Look at the big bear. Now, what designer fabric did we used to have that always had, like, foxes on like that? Yes. So this is um, the bear and the fox live in the wood. I'm not quite sure what that is, why they've got a poofet in the middle of the wood. Oh, it's an animal. I thought it was something they were going to sit on. It's not an armadillo. Oh, is it an armadillo? But on wheels. Because there's your acorn, there's your hedgehog. I, I think this isn't in proportion. Oh, yeah, there's his head. Oh, now, I was about to say, oh, they've drawn this one, breaking wind, right? Because I thought it was going that way, and that was his bottom. But that's his head. That's its head, look. Tortoise on wheels. It's not, though, because that's its head. And it's... Little tail there. They live for years, don't they, tortoises? Um, oh, message from Shirley. Uh, so enjoying this morning, spending my, is that say 50th? 60th with you all, Shirley in sunny Aaron. Oh, happy birthday, Shirley. Are you having a lovely day? Oh. Yeah, I had my 60th last June. We'll be out of lockdown by my birthday this year, won't we? Yeah, we should be. I'm not surprised. Half the stock of this is gone. Oh, sorry. I'm well, not doing my job again. Look at the price. It's a cotton poplin. Look at the price. What would you make out of this, though? Oh, no. Has it got what you can't make? Oh, no. You can make yourself some lounge pants out of this or some pyjamas out of this. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, people are buying multiple units. I'm not surprised at that price. It's about to go. Like R. Kelly, you mean? Oh, no. Our panels here. There we go. So, should I just go in order? So they're in here, or do you got it? Uh, uh, right, hang on. Yeah, I'm going to start with this one, because this one I've never seen before. These are all five-inch squares, by the way, exclusive to Sewing Street. Well, I was talking about this on pre-order, wasn't I? No, no, not I was not pre-order. Before the show, I showed this. Oh, that's lovely. Look at the colours. Now, they're not as bright as you think they're going to be. Look, the reds here are, are kind of muted. Then you've got the golds. Then you've got the lemons. <clears throat> then you've got that lovely green, beautiful blue, through to the purple, through to magenta. 
They're all, right, okay, so look at, look at the different designs. Sorry, I've missed out the designs. So you've got white polka dots, you've got chevron, you've got darker dots, and you've got like a linear print there. And then at the end here, it changes again completely to stripes. Oh, do you know what this would be good for? This would be brilliant for, you know, the cushion we did yesterday with Dawn, with all the layers of chiffon. This would have been good for like the end of the boat, the uh, little beach houses and everything like that. This would have been fantastic for that. So if you got that book yesterday, and wasn't that, you see, we had two amazing books yesterday, didn't we? We had that lovely um, By the Seaside applique book, and we had a Darku's book, both gorgeous. I've told Hayley that I thought they were both fantastic. Um, this would be brilliant to go with the applique book, wouldn't it? Because all your seaside colours are there. So if you've got that book, get this panel, fourteen ninety nine. I'd get a couple myself, to be honest. Oh, we'd add single figures. Dad single figures already on that one. Okay. Now my other panels, I've got number, number, letter, letter. Right, okay, so let me do... Which one do I do? 21 or 64 first? Does it matter? 64 first. These are numbers. These are numbered ones. These are now. Remember, Janice made a big. I, I, it's, I know where they are on the shelf as well. I forgot to get them out earlier. Um, look, these are your numbers on brights, and Janice made uh, like dice that you throw, like big stuffed dice, like that. You make. Look, one to twenty in the bright colours. So this is called brights, is it? Yeah, nursery numbers, wall hang. It's just called a wall hang, this one. Look, I'll show you. Wall hang. Garden games, yeah, eau de coat them. Maybe. Bean bags onto different numbers or quoits. We've not got quoits. Oh, they neither of them have heard of quoits. No. Have you? God, I haven't seen one of those since 1972. Swing balls, absolutely hated it. Terrifying, yeah? Ah, oh, well, yeah, but you have to know because the people have to wipe the bats down if you put it out now. Hannah's got a, I forgot what it's called, swing ball. And in where she lives in her row of houses, there's a communal garden at the front. She puts it up in the summer and everyone can play on it. But she's not, going, she's not putting it out now because she's going to snow again. But also, now you'd have to put sanitizer out so they could wipe all the bats and everything, wouldn't you? No, it's not quite swing ball season yet. Yeah, we were in here, Emma. Right, okay, now I've got numbers on pastel. Again, it's a wall hang. Oh, this is the one. I tell you what, Janice didn't make cubes out of this one. I'm telling fibs. She made a wall, qu a quilt, which was double-sided, didn't she? She's done cubes. I thought, yeah, she has done cubes, definitely done cubes as well. But the one with me, she did a wall hanging. Oh, was that with the letters? Oh, I can't remember now. Maybe she'd do a cube with this one. But we've called it a wall hang. Julie says, I can't wait for my parcel from Sane Street to arrive. <clears throat> I swear my lovely postman creeps past my door when he hasn't got one for me. Oh, you see, Hannah's, if Hannah's in and her postman tries to sneak past the door. You could add a few snakes and ladders to the number panel. Oh, you could. That's a good idea. I'm surprised Wendy Orlando hasn't made one of those. Are we what? Why? No, that's not us. Oh, crikey. Yeah, no, I think, aren't we? Um, no, we're not that road. We're just saying there's a hold up, there's some sort of traffic hold up with the vans today. But we've already got tomorrow's stuff here anyway, haven't we? So we're all right. That's right. No. Mind you, the gate into our car park is very random. Sometimes it opens, sometimes it doesn't. 
sometimes the walk, because there's two, a big gate that the cars come through and then little gates at the side. Yesterday, the little gates at the side were just fixed open. Right, now I've got letters. Oh, hang on. What number's that? Okay, I'll do that one every time. Bright letters, and this, this is a wall hang. Oh, now this is limited. This one's limited. Loads of you come in for this one. Another wall hang. This is, no, sorry, this is the one that Janice did as a wall hang, and she put two together, do you remember? Because you also get, look, you also get an anthazan and a heart in this one. An anthazan. No, it's called an anthazan. Because I've got that in the name of my company. The company that owner's got that in its name. Of course, you can't put that in an email address, can you? Nobody told me that when I named the company all those years about that. I'll tell you where the name of the company came from. It's when I was going to open a shop. And on one side of the shop was going to be really, really smart ladies wear that either made or brought in. And the other side was going to be like ball gowns and party dresses and things like that. And then I could have had um, Hannah's um, meat pie shop next door. Wasn't that what it was? She was going to sell um, ham baps and things like that. And then this is a pastel wall hang. Yeah, pastel wall hang. Look, there you go. Antizan and Hart in yellow and blue on this one. I think this one's better as a wall hanging because you can teach letters. Kicking. Oh, where's the kicking cut? There's the kicking cut. Can't remember what we called that one. They all had names at the time, didn't they? They do it phonetically now. Well, you don't have to teach anyone until you have children. <gasps> no. You're, but you're going to marry wealthy so you can get afford to have a nanny and then everybody. Oh. Next. I've got. Is this ribbon? Oh, nice. I've got rainbow ribbon. <clears throat> and rainbow webbing. I'll do... Okay, the ribbon is cut into meter pieces. I'll do that first. <laughs> if I can even open the bag. 99p. <clears throat> oh, you can make a lovely... Lan oh, can you though? Let's have a look. Make a lanyard. Make a lanyard out of that. Oh, that's really pretty. Isn't it? It's like a satin ribbon. But it's more, it's more solid than a satin ribbon. It's an inch wide. You'd put it on the top of what? You could put it on the top of your fridge along with the... Right, so Hannah had a new window lock fitted two years ago on her window, right? She came in and was like, I've lost the key, lost the key. So she hasn't been able to open this window for two years. She was cleaning the fridge, right? Clean, clean the kitchen for the, when she was having it decorated. It's on top of the fridge. Why would you put it on top of the fridge? Well, yeah, but why did you put it on top of the fridge in the first place? What was your thinking? It's what? Oh, on top of the boiler. Sorry, I thought you said the top. That's even more ridiculous. Yeah, I think it was your dad, so you didn't... Oh, look, yeah, Georgina would put hook and loop on them and a picture to go with, e.g. A for apple. That's a good idea, Georgina. You'd have to then find pictures of A's and B's and C's and... And all the way to Z's. I love this ribbon, can I just say? Feels like a grow grain ribbon, almost like a ribbed ribbon. Yeah, you could make your, your loops for your wall hang out of that. Yeah, I'm not supposed remember it comes now if you multiply it will so if you buy five of them, you'll get five of these little bags with that in. With each one each with one of those in, just so you know. I just think they'd be gorgeous as decorative, you know, sort of thing. Oh, and these would be nice for yesterday's um, thingy as well, wouldn't it? That book from yesterday. 
Yeah, it's nice to have colourful stash, isn't it? It's like, oh. No, I'm going to put it away. I'm just aware of how much we have to pack up at the end of the day. Yeah, Emma's doing this hour. We kept telling Jeremy yesterday, of course, the directors do this hour, Jeremy. Oh, that's nice. This is lovely webbing. It's nice wide webbing, this. Again, it's cut to a metre. Uh, uh, so it's 40 millimetres wide, this one. Four centimetres wide. Is that four centimetres? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I was confusing it the other way round, thinking four inches. I said, that's not four inches. Two ninety nine. Now again, they're already cut to this. So if you buy more than one for handles or something, for a bag or anything like that, it's lovely, isn't it? The colours are pure, really, really pure on there. Richard of York game battle in vain. Nice. Moving on. It's got, it's got just one spot, yeah. This is Cerise. One spot. One spot only. Tonight, baby, blah, blah, blah. One night only. One night I don't know what song I'm singing. One night only. One night only. Come on. Anyway. Yeah, I did say just one spot only. So you get half a metre of your pink spot, Cerise. Half a metre of bright pink and half a metre of school grey. I think I might separate those two pinks. Nine ninety nine, no? Nine ninety nine's a good price for a metre and a half of fabric. Cool. Could you make a belt? Is that so? Could you make a belt out of the rainbow webbing? You could do. Well, I couldn't because it wouldn't be big enough to go around my waist. But <laughs> you could. Hannah said you could always join it. Thanks, Han. No, no, well, no, your waist's not more than 40. I mean, my waist's not, I hope my waist's not more than 40 anyway, because it's a metre, isn't it? You just, you know what you could do is just get a clasp, a little clasp. Aqua. This is a nice, but this is a nice bundle. There you go. Aqua, this is cool. Uh, what have we got here? So we've got the spot. We've got the turquoise, turquoise, turquoise aqua, and we've got the soft sky, I think they're called. Is that right, Hannah? Yeah, I noticed. Colours. Oh, peacock! Powder blue and white on aqua. Have they changed the names of some of these fabrics then? I've never, I've never said peacock. Well, I've been discussing Rose and Hubble fabrics before. I've got a funny story about that, about a friend of mine, but I can't tell you on the telly. Yeah. yeah. Next. Great, and that's grey one's just a two bundle. Mm, who made this one? One silver. What's the matter? So this is silver. Oh no, that's silver. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're silver. They're both rose and hub, but from different ranges. They are a different kind of silver. Just to warn you. Not being negative. Just telling you. Seven pounds and forty-eight pence. These, now Janice made a romper suit out of one of these, didn't she? I, think, I wasn't in on that day. Was it that one she did it out of? What, what? Teddy's on the go, this one's called. So hang on, is he ice skating? But look, does it look like he's got big ice skates on there? Running with his balloons. Driving with a windy scarf. Pretended to be a medic in that one. Apple delivery. Blimey, how big is that apple? 
driving a taxi. He's going at 35 kilometres. Oh, no, 15, 35. Traffic lights one way. I don't think, because he's in a racing car there with his arm outside, very nonchalantly. Oh, hang on. Can you see? Look, look, look. No, it's a dog. What on earth are you seeing? Where? Best friends, aren't they? Bears and dogs. Anyway, let me just <coughs> let me tell you about it. It's 44 inches wide. It's machine washable. It's fun, isn't it? You've got three of these. It's what? Three nine times half a metre, gorgeous for kiddies um playwear. Didn't but uh, didn't um Janice definitely made, I think it might have been that one she made a um no, we weren't there. It was a day off and I was watching. How sad is that? Eh? I've not had many places to go this year. No, nobody else. I don't know why I'm moaning. Road signs. Teddy's on the go. There's no Teddy's at... Oh, excuse me. There's no Teddy's actually on there. There's a skiddy road. There's a traffic light. There's no entry. There's bollards. Hurdles, <coughs> if you're Mo Farah. No, he doesn't do hurdles, does he, Mo Farah? Corporal Stripes, Dead End, Detour. I thought Detour was all one word, actually, not Detour. It's French. It's nice, a lovely colour in the background. Bright and vibrant, isn't it? And they've got one more in this range. Oh, it's still there. Still, no, no, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. This one is called Construction Dogs. Oh, it's a different range. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I'll just let you see this and I'll take a slurp of my water. Oh, well, isn't that a lion? Oh, it's a hairy dog. And this is a psychedelic dog. <coughs> so what's this called again? Sorry, construction dogs. Okay, I think they're on guard. Oh no, uh, well, <coughs> I'm not quite sure. Three ninety nine and half meter, and it's good fun, isn't it? Because that one's got a spanner and a tool I've never seen before. Oh no, it's a hammer with a with a. No, 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 but it's got one of those things that you get nails out of with, isn't it? I don't know what that's called. I know because I've got one. Claw. Isn't it called a claw hammer, that one? I'm just a bit confused why, why these two are dressed up. Oh, no, hang on, no, hang on. He's, he's got a friend with the same jumper on over here, with the hairy dog's got the same jumper. Yeah, but he's got a neckerchief and he's got a bow tie. They're all what? Oh, there. Hang on, where can you see there? He hasn't got a jumper on though, has he? No, because he's in a different union because he'll be the crane driver, won't he? I always wonder, you know, those... Oh, no, I'm not even going to discuss it. Well, in London, when you drive into London, there's all those really, 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 really tall cranes out there doing the skyscrapers, right? So they have to go to work like that, going up the ladder in the morning. Do they stay up there for their lunch or do they come all the way down for lunch or if they need a comfort break? Yeah, exactly, yeah. We can. Now, we're not, we're not talking Christmas. Stars are for all year round, Hannah says. 
Folded star cushion, create this beautiful folded star cushion with these step-by-step -step instructions. I'm not quite sure why they're in sepia. Because, you know what I mean? It's unusual, isn't it? Because you'd normally show those in really, really bright colours. And, and you want like seven different colours, don't you, really? But it's, no, it is it's meant to be, because look, the, the pin's in the yellow, so it's fine. Anyway, $9.99 for those. PQUU39. I don't think you make braces out of uh, the webbing. <coughs> well, you could, but you'd need to get some elastication in it somewhere. Okay. Unicorn instructions. This is Adelphine Brooks. When's she in next? I'm never on with her. They never put me on with her, do they? I think, oh, she's in tomorrow. Oh, yeah, she's in Tree of Life. No, she's only doing one hour tomorrow. I think she's only doing one hour, isn't she, tomorrow? Oh, there's a very full day tomorrow. <coughs> oh, she's in for two. Oh, they've got a very full day today, tomorrow then. <coughs> so is Debbie Shaw actually in? So Debbie Shaw's in, Delphine's in, and Gary from Juki without me. Gary's in. No, guest, Debbie's a guest. It's um, Wendy tomorrow, is it? Wendy tomorrow. Beautiful applique cushion instructions by Delphine. Okay, next. What time is it? Oh, look at the time. Oh, we haven't done these yet. Are you sure? Brand new. Now, do you remember in the early bird this morning, we had like a geometric-y one? Well, these are like, what they call magical daisies. Magic Daisy, I've got it in cream and gold, blue, same range, blue and silver, and purple and silver. Oh, that's navy. Okay, the photo on the web, so if you, let's do this one first, right? So, is, that, is it a bundle or is it singly? Singly, I thought so. Okay, the photo on the web is completely wrong. It shows the geometric print. Okay, this is Magic Christmassy. No, Magic Christmas even. Doesn't have to be Christmas though. Printed in Japan, 100% cotton. Now, it is glittery. Oh, now we thought the geometric one was... um, But it's not. It's obviously just cut off at the wrong place. So it's not... It's not um, um, what's the word? It won't scrape off or anything like that. It's pretty, isn't it? So that's navy. Now the picture of that one on the website is wrong. Now the purple one, the picture on the website, looks very blue, but this is very, very purple. Very spiritual purple, this one. Oh, actually, no, on my telly it looks a bit blue. Can we show it on this, on this picture here? Because look, it's definitely purple. Definitely purple. Picture on the web is wrong. Magic Days is on purple. It's definitely, definitely purple. Okay, moving on. And the background's blotchy, like, you know, like I was called that one, that splodgy one, splodge. And then this is cream with gold on this one. Photos right on this one, five ninety nine for half a metre. Magic daisies on cream. Lovely, isn't it? That's with gold, that one. Now, it's, it says it's Christmas fabric, but it doesn't have to be Christmas, does it? No. I can hear someone singing. You know, like lounge singing. Junk singing. Oh no, there won't be anybody here now. Where am I going next? I'm going home. I'm going home. Not going home. Not going home. Super cute sewing. Everything else that you might have been on the desk, like the heart fabric, 
the Ma Myths, Magic and Monsters book. Oh, there's only those two I haven't done. Oh, and the thread. They're up, up be underneath on the website. This is called Super Cute Sewing. 20 easy sewing patterns for soft toys and accessories. Melanie McNeese. Oh, no, I've, I think I've seen this before. I have, yeah, I remember the mermaid. So you've got Petal the Pony, Elephant Family, Lewin the Lion, Seal with a Kiss, Monkey Mischief, Archie the Alien, Otis the Fun UFO, Millie and Milo, Mia, Rufus, Yummy, Fifi, Super Scotty. I have to, can't wait to see what that is. Drake, Princess, Garden Quilt, Ladybug, Sebastian, Flutter and Bug in a Rug. Oh, now it's, I, I need to go fast through these, don't I? Elephant Family. Lou in the Lion. These are so cute. They should have called this book cute, shouldn't they? Super cute, yeah. Seal with a Kiss. Oh. Monkey Mischief. Look, can I? Lots of handy tips and loads of instructions, look. Then we've got Archie the Alien. Oh. Then we've got Otis the Fun UFO. Oh. Then we've got Milo and, Millie and Milo, sorry. What are they? Monster twins, they are. Monster twins. Then we've got Mia the Mermaid. I like her face. She's covered up. But she looks like somebody I know. You'd have trouble walking here in that as well. Hannah's thinking she might wear that to work tomorrow. Luckily, we're not in tomorrow. Rufus. <laughs> Yummy the unicorn. Lots of Rick Rack. Fifi the fairy. I recognise that fabric. Oh. Well, I've got to get to Scotty before we go to the break. So that's all. Oh. <laughs> Ah, I thought it was going to be a Scotty dog. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Super Scotty. Able to leap tall bunk beds in a single bound, this boy of steel is ready to fight the battle for toy box justice. Take off his cape and his mask, and you may mistake him for any ordinary boy, but in one quick change, he becomes a superhero who will be sure to keep any child's bedroom full of adventure and action. It's uncanny, uncanny, isn't it? <laughs> Moving on, Drake the Dragon. Oh, he gets lots of pages. Princess Penelope. Oh, she's got the same face as the mermaid, look. Um, garden quilt, that's pretty, isn't it? Hannah still builds a den in her house, there's only her in it. Ladybug bag. Oh, there's so many. How much is this book? $15.99, what a brilliant project. Sebastian the snail. Flutter, mobile. And we're nearly at the end. Bug in a rug. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, and all the templates. All the templates. All the templates. There's loads in there, isn't there? Where's Super Scotty gone? Seal with a kiss. Wow! Oh, no, I thought that was someone. It is someone's face. They're huge. There's me and the mermaid. They're much bigger than I thought they were. Oh, we missed out, Scotty, Super Scotty. He was before Drake the Dragon, wasn't he? No, that's Fifi. <laughs> Emma's just gone, there he is, that's Fifi the fairy. <laughs> so, I'm either, there I am. Oh yeah, they're very similar. They are very similar, look. Thanks, Emma. And Princess Penelope. I think Super Scotty's a little bit um, gender neutral, isn't he? Anyway, let's move on, because Cara's waiting to come on. That's a brilliant book. You've got to get that. It's a brilliant book. Right, don't go anywhere, because after the break... Oh, it's up here now. We're doing the washing line. 
We're doing the washing line cushion with Cara. Now this one, she's going to have placed everything and we're going to concentrate on the free motion quilting, uh, free motion embroidery, because a lot of you uh, are still frightened of it. So I'll see you here in about three minutes from now. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Time for the washing to go out on the washing line. A sewing pattern by Helen Newton. It's lovely again. Full on, full on instructions with all your templates. Uh, you've got the dress, the trousers, the skirt, the hat. I've never seen a hat on a washing line before. Um, and then everything you need. And a, a fully fledged coat as well. My word, she washes everything, that Helen Newton, doesn't she? Where's the pants? There's no pants. The socks. Is that short? No. There's a tennis skirt there where she goes playing tennis. You even get a placement guide on this one as well. Anyway, 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 anyway. So you get the pattern. You get um, half a metre of cream. No, a fat quarter of cream, half a metre of pale blue, and then an exclusive sewing street panel. The same. It's not the same panel, but the same idea as the, as the um, one we did before. Oh, there's big chunks of fabric on this one. Look. So look, on this one, oh, now this one is different because on the last one, each of them had, this is the door, this is the window, this is the blind. This one, you've just got these lovely little squares here, which are about three and a half, are they? Are they three and a half inches? Hang on. Um, yeah, three and a half inch square. In fact, they're rectangles, I think. Hang on. Three and a half by four and a quarter. So they're rectangles of all the different fabrics there. So you've got lemons and you've got pinks and you've got florals and everything like that. Then at the bottom here, you've got your gingham. Now it looks like there's two different, it might be me. This might be me. Yeah, it's me. It's all the same color. I thought it looked at different blue there than it did there. Oh, it's because that's underneath it. There you go. Duh. So you get the panel. You get the instructions, you get half a metre of blue and a fat quarter of cream, 19 .99 if you want to buy the whole panel, the whole bundle, right? If you just want, if you've got your own, if you want to personalise it, make the clothes like your clothes or your family's clothes, you can buy just the um, pattern if you want to. So here's the pattern. Very, very popular. Now on this one, Almost as many patterns have gone of bundles, bundles on this one. Sorry, I'll move that out of the way. So that's $9.99 for the instructions there. Washing line, a sewing pattern by Helen Newton. Beautiful. Shall we just get on? Or do you want me to show anything else, Hannah? Let's just get on. Right, Cara, all yours. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you go in your break this time? Oh, I went on an open top bus round Studley. Oh, did you? It's a long way to go <laughs> around Studley. Oh, crikey. Um, I'm right. Do you um, know, for every time that I've come over here, I haven't been into Redditch. No, I've never been to, I've never, no. ever been into Redditch. No, it's no. funny, isn't it? No. Been all I wouldn't even know where the town, I don't know where the no, town is. No, I don't is. know where the town centre is. I so know there's a McDonald's day. over there, a Greg's there, and a Subway there. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Oh, hang on, there's what? And the stop for the bus that you get on and Hannah. When I leave, Hannah's standing in the middle of this, like, just a triangle of green grass. There's no bus stop or anything. And I'm going, you all right? Went, yeah, this is the bus stop. And I'm like, I'm not sure that it is, Hannah. <laughs> but anyway, so she's just done that. And there's also, brilliantly, not, not for us, but for the people who live around here, there's a, a COVID jab centre. Yes, a COVID a vaccination centre. Because it's where that. Dulcie, my friend Dulcie, came to have hers done Oh, there. OK. Anyway, okay. anyway, shall we get on? Yes, what, suddenly. The last one, you did more placement, didn't you? I did a lot more placement. But this particular one, if I actually get the cushion down here, yeah. you'll see that the placement is very straightforward. So um, I'm going to just um, cut out a few of the actual samples, the little patterns, and then I'm going to show you how to place them on here. Um, but what I love about this is you can make it really, really personal. If you've gone for the pattern on its own and you want to do a memory cushion for somebody, oh, for nice. your child or something like that, and you've got some dress, you know, fabric that you've got left over that you've made things for your child, mm -hmm. you can actually personalize it. Yeah. Um, so use the fabrics, which would be lovely, really, really nice. Also, I thought, oh, actually, you could do a baby one. You yeah. might have to sort of play around with it, but, um, but you know, or it could be for a man because you could put sort of um, trousers and the t-shirts and stuff like that on it. So there's lots and lots of different ways of personalising it, which is lovely. Um, I also love the fact that the border this time is actually included on the panel. So yes. if you're buying the panel, you've already got the border fabric as well. So, so the blue is only for the backing. Then, the blue's really? only for the backing. Yeah. yeah. 
And the cream is done. for the background of the yep. washing lines. For the, the background there. Brilliant. So um, so what I'm going to do, I'll pop that there, um, is just trace out a couple of them. So very, very similar to the one that we um, did earlier. So if you want to sort of um, look back at that one, it will go through a, mm -hmm. a few more of the techniques and everything. But what we're going to do is I've already prepped some of it and I just need to these these trousers here. So um, just to remind you that um, you'll use your bond web and just trace around. Again, I'm using a crayon crayon. <laughs> Oh, crayon. <laughs> crayon. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm never going to be able to say that again. <laughs> never. So you're just going to trace round onto the paper side of the bond web. And um, there's a lot of detail included. Um, Helen always includes a lot of detail to help you when you're doing your free motion. Yep. But you don't need to do that at this stage. You just need to um, draw around. The basic shape yep. you're doing on you. <clears throat> so then you'll cut that out roughly. And you can keep some of the little bits because it's amazing how you use little bits as well yeah. for um, smaller projects. But you'll do that for everything. And then you'll choose, do we want floral fabrics or do Ooh, we want... Oh, I don't know. Ooh. That's, so basically, you just cut all your little rectangles out. You can yes. use whatever you, you want. You can whatever. play around with them. And there's some spare ones as well. So um, that's really nice. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to get the ironing board. Ironing board. That pressing that. Even. Pressing that up. Is your iron on? Yes, my iron's on. That didn't stick. Okay, um, so what do we fancy? That's quite florally. A lot of these um, are quite 70s inspired. I don't uh -huh. know whether you agree with me, but there's um, quite a few of the, you know, it's like um, the sort of some real wide bell bottom yeah, exactly, trousers or yeah. loons, they used to call them. Well, um, it's Helen's, you know, heyday, isn't it, the 70s? <laughs> my heyday as well oh they were brilliant weren't oh they, gosh yes oh. yes oh i thought i'd put that on obviously oh. not so talk amongst yourselves while that oh, heats no. up no don't worry I'll put the she's gone other one yep run off again yes <laughs> so um i love this little iron is absolutely perfect for doing um smaller plique yeah i'm sure i had the little iron did i not have the little iron on the trolley in this hour well, where is it <laughs> Um, it's really, really good because you've got a lot of control. Yeah, well, you don't, I don't nice. need it. Just look at, you can look at the one Cara's yep. using, but it's a brilliant little line. So we're just going to press over there and leave your iron on for a little while. What you can do is use the pressing, the applique mat yep. if you want to. And the reason why you leave a gap around the shape of the actual um, garment is that you want all the glue to go to the edge. So that's why you do it like that. Oh, so okay. You iron the glue side of the um, bond web onto the wrong side of your fabric. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just cut that out. And now do you cut it out exactly? Yes, like you cut it exactly to the line. Use paper scissors because you have got um, the paper and fabric. So if you've got a sharp pair of paper scissors, that's... Uh, Good, I'm just going to go across uh, definitely. there. Definitely. Um, Annie in Essex says, Today's patterns have just been added to my collection of Helen's lovely designs. I plan on having them in a cushion corner in my sewing room. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I've got in my Indian princess bedroom downstairs, which is now downstairs. Your, what's it called? Okay, so all my bedrooms are different themes, right? Oh, right. And I had, when my niece used to come and stay when she yes. was little, and then when Dulcie's daughter used to come and stay when she was little, I'd got this really beautiful four-poster in it's an Edwardian <gasps> Indian bed. Gorgeous. That, um, I used to have a friend who had a, a, a warehouse in Chiswick and he would travel around India yep. finding like cupboard doors and cupboards and bed. And he would text going, I've just found this cupboard. Do you fancy this cupboard? So I would oh, buy it fantastic. directly. So I've got this amazing uh, cupboard in my lounge, which is called a manjuice, which is where you, um, it was like a dowry cupboard. So when you 
did your dowry for your daughter getting married, it would be this incredibly encrusted with be beads oh, and mirrors and things. Beautiful. And you'd fill it with linen yes. for her to take with her. Yes. But in, yeah, but like a, it is like a bottom drawer, but in the bottom of the cupboard, there's like a secret little box and they just put, fill that with money. So, so I've got all this, so I've got this bed. So I've got this big sort of four postery bed and I decorated the bedroom upstairs to go with and everything like that and they used to come and stay. But now I've had to move my office upstairs because oh. the room was smaller. And I was thinking, oh no, I'm gonna have to lose it. Anyway, I just transferred the bed downstairs into the office room and it fits perfectly oh, and fantastic. there's just like soft lights in it and the bed is covered in cushions oh, and fantastic. there's a beautiful quilt on the bed and everything and it's just a really like lovely if you just want a quiet yes. reading room yes. sort of thing yes uh, hannah could sleep in there if she wanted to <laughs> not forever not moving forever <laughs> but it's just a really really lovely cozy it warm sounds room, beautiful yeah. so sounds um, as though it was made for it yes yeah yeah excellent so you're going to put your cushions in all there? my cushions i've got a six over 60 cushions so I've got the, the whole bed, the whole corner, that side. So when you sit lying there reading your book, you're just surrounded by cushions. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Don't need to go anywhere, do no, you? No, no. Okay. Just waitrose for food. <laughs> I can deliver it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. So what I've done with the other ones, except for one of them that didn't stick. Um, oh. <laughs> I know, and I've already put some um, friction pen on there. So oh, I don't no. iron it. it. Well, I could iron it, couldn't I? And then, then do the friction pen over the top. Um, my applique mat is, sorry, I'm going to walk around. Um, oh, it's in the other room. Mat. Talk about mat. I've got it here. Oh, you got it. No, it's all right. It's in the other room, but that's fine. I can get you one. There's a whole tray of them over there, aren't there, Hannah? <laughs> I think I'll be okay. Thank oh, you. so I get the blame because you keep opening them, John. She said that's why we did a whole box of them. So I'm just going to what um, you'll do. Helen gives you all the measurements, and you'll make some marks down the left-hand side, and then down the right-hand side, and then you'll draw with a friction pen a line across right. like that. And you can either do that stitching normal stitching or you can do it with a free motion one so it's entirely up to you but i've done two lines but it's easy it's e i mean i suppose it depends because if you do normal stitching it is going to be a very straight line it is whereas everything else is if you're going to free motion it's, it's going to be that sketchy yes. that's right that's right except i had a little bit of a hiccup there i don't know what i was doing i must have looked away and the needle sort of jumped so what i'm going to do i've taken all the paper off the back and i'm just going to um position the actual center line now and you can do whatever you like but just bear in mind if you've done the lines the um washing lines i was going to say fishing lines yeah, you yeah, put that's some right. fish on there yeah. <laughs> um if you've done your washing lines as helen has um suggested just bear in mind that some of this the gaps are quite narrow yeah so you won't want to put a coat in there it won't fit obviously but again as we did with the first hour you'd lay everything out make sure that you're happy with the, the distance between each of them mm -hmm. and then you'll um, place them back onto the fabric so I'm just going to place those onto the fabric got a lovely little dress there it's a very romantic washing line, this, oh, isn't it? Because I, um, when I put my washing out, if it, well, I haven't got to wash it out here, but in, when I'm in Spain, it's like there's a thousand socks and all crammed on one bit. Yes. It's not all like lovely like that, all no. blowing in the breeze. No, it's just beautiful, this. It's just so pretty. And again, you can play around with it. You know, you've got all of those shapes and everything. You can make little cards, you know. There's lots and lots of fabric left over, as mm -hmm. I said. Um, because you're only going to be cutting one piece out. So don't feel that this is going to be it. You'll have enough to do lots of other things as well. So um, I've just followed the guide on the front there, but there is, as you say, a placement guide on the back. But yes. that you don't have to follow completely. No, 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 completely. You make it, like if you're going to personalise it anyway. Yes, you could, you know. yeah. So what I'm going to do now, and your um, garments are going to be slightly down from the washing line because you're going to put some pegs on there oh, as okay. well. So I'm just going to press those in position. June said, oh, I can just imagine John and Hannah as housemates. <laughs> yeah, I think one of us will be had up for murder at some point. <laughs> Derek says, a great advert for the John Scott B&B. No, there's nobody coming to stay. 
Sounds lovely, though. Sounds uh, you. It sounds like you've got a real den. Oh, I've, 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 my whole house. I love all my house because it's it's from it's my life story or from all the I places bet. I've been. I've got I had bet. things from Africa and I've got things from all over the place, Morocco and all sorts of things. Fantastic, like fantastic. There's no colour scheme. It's just colour. Oh, I Full bet. on colour. Gorgeous, <coughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Right. So we've positioned those all in place so i'm going to put the iron away right because i'm going to use the friction pen okay. now and what you don't want to happen is that you um accidentally you iron make it cool, let the, it cool yeah. down as well let it cool down a bit i just want to show you here okay, so i've got a quick question for you yeah. hi car and john great demos hi. do you have the iron on dry or steam um, from sue i've got it on dry um, but I think on the instructions for um, Bondweb, um, it says steam, does it? I think it says dry for one, attaching it to the fabric, and then steam for the other, I think, or it could be the oh, other way okay, around. Oh, okay, hang on then. Uh, trace a dry, yeah, so it's, yeah, dry when you're putting the paper onto the fabric, and then when you're putting it onto the actual garment or the thing, it says cover with a. Damp cloth. Yeah, you or can your do a steam damp cloth or, steam, or you yeah. can use steam. Yeah. But I've actually used that one dry, so it, it really doesn't it does matter. Work. You just yeah. need to make sure that you leave it on there long enough. And obviously earlier on I didn't leave it on there long yeah. enough. Um so I just want to show you here um that this is quite a pale fabric, if you can see that. Um so I've actually gone round the whole dress and just followed the lines that are actually on the pattern. Um, the trousers, I've done exactly the same. It just helps you if you're a little bit apprehensive about doing um, free motion. It just helps you because you can see the line more than you can actually see um, the fabric sometimes if it's a light fabric. So um, you just draw in the um, detail and you will notice that obviously um, because you've traced it like that, it does mirror. Yes. So the socks are the other way around. But you can add bits and pieces, which is lovely. So I'm just going to add the bits and pieces to the other garments here. So this is quite a pale fabric. So I'm going to go all the way around. And this is just a guide. Don't think that you've got to follow it exactly. Yeah. Um, because the free motion is like sketching with a needle and thread. And once you have machined it, you will press the actual item and the friction pen disappears. Yeah. So this little dress here, I've just got a line, but I'm going to do my lines around. And this really, really does help. If you've not done much free motion before, it really helps because it's a guide for you to yeah, follow. Yeah, exactly. And it, it, you can see, actually, just by doing the, the lines there, how it changes the appearance. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got these trousers here, these ones here. So I'm just going to do the waistband. And there's a buckle in the center. And then there's pockets. I just love the amount of detail that Helen mm. includes come down and we've got turn-ups on these so that could be the 80s actually if it's turn-ups yeah I'd turn up, also I'd turn ups at the late late 70s 70s well, was late it 70s, yeah, yeah. 80s, yeah there was some strange fashion in those days weren't there the thing is all that strange fashion from the 70s all originated in the 40s Right. Like the platform shoes and the wide trousers. Oh and my gosh, of course, with the high waist. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Everything. So it was obviously uh, made bigger in the yeah. 70s, but it yeah. was all because people like the designers like Vivian Westwood would always go. I used to work at a company called 20th yeah. Century Costumes, which had real clothes from the 20th century, and they'd come in and they'd hire the clothes and, and they wouldn't copy them, but they'd copy scenes yes. or they'd copy shapes and yes. things like that. Yes. All the things like turn ups and yes. things. So everything comes from something that's been around. Yes. But if you think of some of the trousers like Fred Astaire wore when he was doing dungeon, they have a wide, wide leg yes. with a big cut term, a turn up on them and yes. everything. You know? Yeah, like Harry Styles loves those yes, sort of that exactly. thing, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? And I love the way that nowadays people do take inspiration from fashion in the past. Yeah, oh, definitely. But but gives it a, a modern, modern twist, twist yeah. and a contemporary twist, mm -hmm. especially with the fabrics. Mm -hmm. I mean, the well, fabrics. Well, yeah, because the fabrics are completely different. Yes, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Um, 
I wish it was this easy to do these dresses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's got a lovely sort of round collar. So I'm going to go from that side and it's got some scalloped edges or scalloped edges. And again, I'm just going to do that. Um, you've got the bodice coming up, then you've got the sleeve. And as I say, this is just a guide. It isn't to say, oh, you've got to stitch on that exactly. Um, just go down there. And then we'll do some free motion. Uh -huh. So what I've um, done with this particular design is I've used a dark navy. Dark navy? A navy. Navy. <laughs> dark blue, very dark blue. So it's very similar to um, the effect that you would get if you were going to use black. So we positioned all our um, items on there. And if you look, I'll just bring the cushion over. So we don't need the friction pen at the moment. And just have a little look. I don't know how close you can get in. Emma's just coming in now. The um, pegs, so they're actually uh huh. Okay, so you will do your machining all the way around the garments, and then you'll add these little triangles at the top, right? And they're your pegs for hanging the garments on. Oh, so they really do like look like they're blowing in the wind, don't yeah. they? Whilst they're drying. Okay, so we'll have a go at some stitching. So again, um, a lot of people think, oh, it's, you know, easier to do it slow on the machine. But mm -hmm. actually, it makes it a lot easier if you have it on like a medium speed or a faster speed once you get um, happy with it. So I'm going to actually turn this round because I've got all that fabric up and I'm going to do the dress upside down. Okay. So again, as I said in the first hour, you want to try and get your needle in the right position and you'll turn your wheel around, make sure your feed dogs are down. Put the lever down so that the foot's actually connecting to the fabric. And then once you're happy that that's in the right position, do your needle in the down position. And then we're going to go around this twice. And you yeah. need to relax. Where's your gloves? I was just thinking that. You need to relax and breathe. Yes. So that's um, the one real tip that I would give you. But at home, you'd be sitting down, wouldn't you? You're just standing yes. up for the demo. Yes, so yes. Thanks, John, <laughs> for reminding me. OK, so, and as I say, the speed that you move the fabric through um, is determining the length of your stitch. Uh -huh. Oh, that's very slow. Must have knocked it on the way out. That's better. And what you want to try and do, if you can, is go round in one go. Uh -huh. Just from the point of view that you'll get your stitches or you'll get into a rhythm and you want to be going over the lines twice at least twice anyway so that's fine and when you come to a point and you're happy with that point you can take a breather and then lift the needle and then you can start I'm going to start down here again so lift your lever so I've done the collar. Mm -hmm. I'm just coming back down to the bottom here. Whoops. Put my foot on the um, pedal when I didn't mean to. So. So I'm just going to go around the bottom, the scalloped edge again. up and down the bodice and across and then we've got the gathers on the skirt
come across, then back down the other side of the dress. Make it again so easy, but you've not been doing it that long, have you? I haven't. I've only been doing, um, oh, just a few months. Mm -hmm. But I have done a few, haven't I? Yeah, oh no, you have now. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, kind of, don't be, don't be thinking, oh. It, oh I've it, been doing it for years. Yes, I haven't yeah. been doing it for years at all. So I'm just coming up here just to finish off. And then you'll see that there's um, a couple of circles for buttons. So I've lifted the lever up, which releases the thread so you're not pulling the thread across. Yeah. And then I'll put the um, needle down. So you never reverse or do any finishing no. stitches or anything like that? No. What I do um, is do a couple of stitches in the same place. Yeah. And that is like oh, a, yeah, a locking to, stitch. Of course, yes, of yeah. course, yeah. So you can do that. So I'm just going round the buttons on the front of the dress there. I'll bring this over before I carry on yeah. so that you can see. Uh, so if you're in the call centre, they'll be able to tell you about your order. Um, can I see a picture of your Indian princess bedroom? Amanda, I'll do that later. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jerry says, have you put wadding or stabiliser on the back of the cushion front, please? Very good question um on the back of these ones and in the previous hour sorry i did mention it but i should have mentioned it in this one for those who didn't watch the um previous one i've used um iron-on interfacing on the back uh -huh. um which is like a stabilizer or you can use stitch and tear or you can use a sew-in um uh interfacing but that tends to move more the so iron-on so interfacing, yeah. yeah, the iron-on interfacing adheres to the back of the cushion and the stitch and tear, once you start stitching, it won't move, it yeah. doesn't move. Um, and what I'd sometimes do is then at the end, when I've finished, is actually add some H640 just to give it a bit, bit more body. But yes, okay. very good so this question. Is the, uh, this is the iron-on interfacing here. Oh, sorry. This is the iron, iron on interfacing here, me, a meter of it there, three ninety nine, and then this one here is the stitch and tear, which is when you put on, then tear off once you once you've stitched it. So, yeah, that's Roger, Hannah's one of Hannah's future boyfriends. Two pound forty nine. Well, no, because she also likes the boy in the sewing book, and also if you want the bonder web as well to bond web the um, items to the washing line, I'll just do this quickly. Okay, just we don't have the roll of it at the moment. And the graphic that will come in now, we go back to Cara, is for the HX40, which is a wadding which has um, a, a, a fusible one side so you can iron it into place. Now, if you want to do any quilting or anything, you can do. Right, sorry, Cara. That's okay. So, I just wanted to show you um, the dress that I've just done. And again, sorry, is it Emma that's doing the camera? If you want to um, pop down a little bit closer to the dress here, would She's be coming fab. in now. There you go. I'll move it over. Okay, so you can see where I've done the two lines of stitching and it gives a, like a sketchy effect, which is really, really effective. Yeah. And then the buttons are just going round like that. You can see my scalloped edge there wasn't quite on the line, but like I say, it doesn't have to be on the line. Yeah. Um, because what we're going to do is when it's all finished, is actually go round and iron that and you won't see any of the, the lines whatsoever. Pen will come off, yeah. won't it? And what I found, I, I did, um, for the actual sample was I did all my pegs in one go rather than do the pegs. Oh, yes, it was yeah, just much easier yeah. to do that. Yeah. So I'm going to do some trousers now. Is it best to do free motion on quilted fabric or before you do quilting? I would, I prefer before right. I do quilting. Um, I'm not experienced enough, but I think people who do quilting may be experienced enough and may be able to put some wadding or, um, you know, something underneath and then do it but um i think that's where that um that sheet would be really the useful sheet, yeah. the teflon sheet would be really useful mm -hmm. i don't know if we sell that here or not i have asked oh okay i have asked and if we're going to do some more helen newton cushions i'm sure it will be coming in useful. yeah we used to use it for ruler work when, when we've had it in the past uh, kate don't give up on your mug uh, ring the call center if you want to they, i know lots are going out at the moment and then Jan says, Roger must be going very grey by now. I was yep. thinking that. Yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when that first, that pack first yes, that came in. Yeah, that has been going yeah. around the block yeah. for years. Yeah. Uh, need my gloves on. 
don't feel dressed without my gloves. So I'm just going to do around the trousers and as I say I'm doing it upside down because um, if you've got a lot of fabric that gets caught up against the side yeah, of the yeah. machine there it, you don't have the smoothness of the um, movement of the fabric. So now, that table, that sewing machine, because I've got that sewing machine, yeah. comes with a huge table extension would you do it with the table or do you not need to when you i think it's quite nice to have the table because it lifts it up it and it's it not flat, pulling it, it yeah, is exactly, it yeah. but um you know it's only cotton fabric so it's not so you've got a, a lot of no, weight no, 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 there. but yeah. quite nice to keep the whole thing yes flat, isn't it, yes definitely there. so i'm coming up the side of these beautiful check trousers <laughs> and i'm going to go round again once We've got a nice wavy edge at the bottom there. Oh, yeah. They're a bit jazzy, aren't they? And you can see, because of the, the um, speed that I've set the machine at, my foot's actually flat on the floor. Right. And this speed is good for me. So I'm coming up the other side. Uh -huh. I'm going to go across the bottom of the waistband, come back. I'm going to go round the buckle and don't worry if you go round some of your stitching more than twice or sometimes you may just go round it once. Yeah, it's your choice isn't yeah. it? You know. And I'm coming back down. Uh, Sue, the birthday was the 1st of March, was it the 1st of March, the week of the 1st of March birthday? Uh, just ring the call centre and they'll tell you if you're missing a mug. And then across to the bottom. So that's the trousers done. And you can see once you've actually done all your prep work, it doesn't take long to do no, at all. No, not at all. So we've got a lovely skirt here that's actually got a pleat. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but there's a line up there and it's uh -huh. got, it's, I suppose, a little bit like a kilt. Is it a pleat or is it a wrap around? Oh, it could be a wrap around, definitely. Oh, no, it looks like a kilt, actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that upside down again. So start again. I'm um, start. You can start anywhere. Um, you've just got to bear in mind where you're going to do your stitching. But you can go over um, the lines that you've done before. So I'm coming up one side, across. Down the other side, across, and I'm coming up again. If you make a mistake, is it easy to unpick? I, I, you don't make mistakes. Okay. No. Um, I have done some stitching and I thought, oh, that doesn't look right. And if I looked closely at some of the samples that we've got here, I'd sort of think, oh, should I un undo that? But actually, I've left them. Yeah. Um, because I think to undo it depends on the length of your stitch. And if the fabric is where you don't want to have bunch yes, of holes in the Yes, yeah, so I, I don't tend to undo. I just, I need, to point to, sorry, Karen, sorry. just need to point out, if you don't, the, the pattern comes in the bundle, so you don't need, people are asking Hannah if they need to buy both. If you buy in the bundle for 19 99 the pattern comes in it, we just have the pattern on its own if you want to use your own fabrics. So eight I, more minutes, Carl. Yeah, I was going to say, are you quite happy for me to carry on yeah, stitching? Yeah, absolutely. We have yeah. to finish a little bit early because we have to run yeah. to the Yarn Lane studio after this. Yeah, us. no problem. So this one's got a, a little bit more detail on it. And yeah. um, there's a collar. There's the um, front of the uh, blouse, I suppose it is. It's got a lovely big collar or it could be a jacket. And it's got three big buttons. So we'll have a go at those as well. Looks like a smock shape. Yes, that one. yes. The sad thing was when I was doing this, I thought, oh, I wouldn't mind a top like that. <laughs> <laughs> do you do and any dressmaking? I love dressmaking. Absolutely love dressmaking. But I don't feel um, yet. I've been doing dressmaking for years. Right. Um, I don't feel confident enough yet to do it on Sewing That's Street. Great. Because we had a Darku's book on yesterday. Yes. And some of the things, some of the items in there were simple but yes. so stylish. Yes. Maybe you should have got one of those. 
Because yeah. you can do it. You can I mean, come on and do <laughs> free motion embroidery. I just, I feel that there's a lot of people out there who are more experienced. Well, I don't know. I have got a lot of experience on yeah. dressmaking. Um, if you don't so, feel comfortable, I was just thinking, I was just thinking yeah. that they, they were so lovely and they were all very simple shapes, but all really stylish, yeah. you know what I mean? And they, we don't they, Hannah? We were going through it and Hannah was like, oh, I want that jumpsuit, yes. or I want that dress, or I want that yes, skirt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think um, because I do quite a few different ones, I feel like sometimes I'm a, there's a, I'm not a master of... Oh, yeah, jack of all trades. I'm a jack of all trades, no. really. Um, although embroidery is my real yes, sort of, course, of passion. Yeah. Um, but I love dressmaking, absolutely love it. I taught dressmaking, actually, in Leicestershire. Oh, well, there you uh, go. Evening class. So, um, yeah, <laughs> one day, one day. But I still haven't done a quilt, so... Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> So I'm just doing the buttons now. Carol says, thank you. It's so nice to get answers to our questions straight away. Christine said, how wonderful is Cara? Oh, it thank could be, you, now, Christine. <laughs> it could be made with baby clothes for a new baby quilt with the name on. Yes. Or Santa's clothes. Yes. Santa and yeah. colours for, oh, for Christmas cushion. Yes. Oh, I wouldn't even thought that one. Definitely. Santa's washing line. Yes. Oh. Especially if you made it in the summertime. Yeah. He doesn't need his warm clothes, no. does, it? does he? Oh, a nice idea. The thing is, once you've got the pattern, because obviously, if you even if you buy the whole kit, you can make it with with the fabrics that we've printed on the on the panel. But you can also then start making it like we're saying, customizing it. Like one of them could be a, a, your husband's shirt yes. fabric, or I mean, obviously, when he's finished with it, don't just cut a <laughs> hole in his shirt or anything. But cut, you know cut you mean? it in you the can back. Make it so personal to. You definitely can. Definitely. Or. or Oh, what we got carried away with here. Well, Hannah, Hannah's getting carried away because she's going to do the Cinderella story somehow. Oh, yes. I was thinking, though, you could do it, not make a cushion, make a peg bag out of it. Yes. Oh, that would be nice. Wouldn't it be lovely? Yes. Because you put the opening in the back and the other side yep. so that you don't spoil your free motion. Yep. I, so, what, what is she saying now? What are you saying now? She what? Okay, she'd like one with just underpants on. <laughs> Bras? And your red bra would have bra to be oh, there. Oh, yeah, I mean, her gold one after the last time. Yeah, no, that, the gold one's a sports bra, not oh, as attractive. Yeah, but you could have a sports bra on there, couldn't you? Yeah. So um, I've done a dress, trousers, wraparound skirt or kilt, and a smock top. I'm going to do this um, gorgeous skirt here. And when I was ironing the other ones on, I must have just touched. Yeah, but that's the joy of it. You yes. can do it like that, can't yeah. you? So I'm just going to do this lovely scalloped edge skirt. And you can see now I've actually, because I've only got a small amount of fabric on my right hand side, mm -hmm. I've actually, I'm looking at it the right way up. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, you've moved yeah. You're on that side now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So again, I'm just going to go around once. And once you have done a line, it's much easier to follow that line. Yeah. And I'm not following the friction line exactly. That's the joy of friction pens, isn't yes. it? Because if you do, like you say, if you do go off it slightly, yep. then you just die in it afterwards. So I've just gone round the waistband twice. I'm coming back down the, this is my second. And see how easy these gloves make it. Mm. So I'm just doing the other scalloped section. Come back. It's just very therapeutic. Oh, I was well. it's very, it's very, yeah. to sleep. It's oh, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not because you're boring, but because the, the, the noise Thanks, of the sewing John. machine. I know. Is, you know. I know it is. It's just um, I I just feel in my happy place when I'm there sewing. Oh. Definitely. Okay. So that's that skirt. Perfect. Done. All right. Well, that's nice. That one works really yes, well, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It really does. Now, I, I know we're only talking about free, the, the embroidery, but you, you put the... Um, is In the instructions, is the cutting instructions for the frame that you've already put on? You know, the, the blue... the blue Yes. Cross, because on the one we did this morning, the panels were already there, weren't they? Whereas on this one, because it looks like you've got an awful lot of fabric to make... Because you've got all of that fabric Yes, there. you have got um, lots of fabric, but not enough for um, 
front back. Show you, yeah. Yeah. But then, but then, does it say in the instructions what size you need to cut yes, out? Yes, it gives oh, okay, all perfect. the information. And whilst we're talking about that, I'll show you. Um, I've done um, an envelope back yeah. there. Um, and what I would possibly do with that is yeah. I'd maybe um, have some self-covered... Just turn it back because we didn't, sorry. didn't see it. No, no, it's right. It's, uh, Emma's camera takes a while to come in, that's all. There, so we've got an envelope back. An envelope back. Right. Um, and I would actually cover, self-cover some buttons for the right. back. And before I actually assembled the um, cushion, I would put um, buttonholes across. Oh, nice. And then put my self covered buttons yeah. underneath so that they come through the buttonholes. And that would be really, really nice. I'd also be tempted to put just one piece of clothing up in like one of the corners, you know, yes. just as a kind of finishing. Yes, that'd be really thing. nice. So um, in the instruction, she will, Helen, she? She, yeah. Sorry, come on, she. sorry, Helen. Um, in the instructions, she'll tell you all the information about the size of the pattern and um, the fabrics that you cut out. Yeah. And this is for the back. So um, she'll tell you what size you need to cut for that. You'll see it's a, a little bit bigger, yeah. but that's fine because it's much better to be bigger than um, not so big. And you'll do a double hem across there so you haven't got any raw edges or anything. Uh -huh. And then right sides together, you do the same with the two pieces, right sides together, that way, like that. And if you want to, you can trim, I'll turn it over and I'll show you. Oh yes. Yeah, you can yeah. trim the excess fabric off now, mm -hmm. or you can actually machine and it's so easy. You just machine <coughs> all the way around mm -hmm. the edge like that. You cut your corners so that they um, and you don't need, need to leave a turning gap no, or anything. You no, can go through. No, the that's right. Back. That's right. And then that's your cushion finish. Brilliant. So Lo says, I adore Helen Newton's designs, and Cara demonstrates them so well. Oh, says thank Lowe. you. Thank um, you. Is Hannah back? Okay. Uh, when are you back in then? Nineteenth. Uh, and do we know what we're doing? Uh, I picked away? up, I picked up, um, yes. Oh, that's what that big box was yes. for? Yes. Mm, yes. Very nice. Something, on, something that I've done before on another channel. You can say sewing quarter. That was, yeah, <laughs> that was on sewing quarter, um, but this is a new version. Well, that's what you were saying earlier about. Yes. So, um, yes, I'm really excited. And what day excited. of the week is it? It's a Monday, so I think oh, it's we'll be, maybe we're back. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm doing one Monday this month, but it's not that one. Yeah. That's yeah. what you won't have. Oh, no. I think Emma's in. I'll, 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 I'll think it's a little bit weird around yeah. there. Right, okay, thank you ever so much, guys. No, it's always lovely to see hug. you. <laughs> and and um, get back home safely on the topless bus. Yes, I will do. Yeah. And um, I hope your haircut goes well. I shall look forward to seeing you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What yes, day have you got it? That's the Monday, the before you're in. So, so you're on the 12th, on so the next 12th. Monday. Oh, no, hang on. No, hang on. You're in the 19th of April. Yes. No, that's the day I'm having my hair cut. Oh, So you'll okay. be on air at 9 o'clock when I'm we going want, to have my want haircut. We want a photo. All right, I'll send one we from the bar afterwards. We definitely want it. And what style are you going for? Oh, I think I'm going to leave it a bit longer. Ooh. But, but, but. Not this long, obviously, but because we just looked at Christmas Day and it looked, it looked so nice on Christmas Day. Aww. And it's just been... Anyway, thank you ever so much. All we'll right, see you see then. you again soon. Okay, so washing line, washing line, the bundle. Here it is, 19 99 You get the instructions, you get half a metre of the blue, you get a fat quarter of the cream, and you get the exclusive panel. When everyone's checked out, half the stock's gone, half the stock's gone. We always have loads of these because they, they go after the show. People message in in the evening going, oh, we've just watched it. There's nothing left. Loads of these, loads of these. Pattern on its own. Very popular. Well, I think this is more open to customising than we sold more of the washing line patterns than we sold of the um, flower shop patterns. But I think that's because people will want to use their own fabrics for the washing line. $9.99. That's the pattern on its own. Do you want me to just remind you about the flower shop? Flower shop bundle is this one here. So you get the, the instructions, you get the exclusive panel. Now this is different because this one has pieces to tell you what they are, not ones where you just pick. Then you get a fat quarter of the cream and you get a half meter of the chartreuse, 19 pounds and 99 pence. And then the pattern on its own. Nine ninety nine pattern on its own there. I'll put it in the shot. 
Right, while you should check out on that, I'll just tell you that uh, Sewing Street, uh, we're going to Yarn Lane now after the break. So um, if you've already bought something from Sewing Street this morning, your PMP for Yarn Lane is paid for, so don't worry about that. You can buy from there. It's going to be a very busy journey on Lane. I just need to warn you. Also, um, all the items from today's show here stay on the Sewing Street one, but all the items from Yarn Lane will be on the Yarn Lane website. They don't cross over. But if you're watching on the telly, just stay where you are. If you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, or on the website, you do need to go to the Yarn Lane, Facebook, YouTube, or the website to be able to watch us there. Um, this is tomorrow's menu for here, for Sewing Street. Uh, Blossom and Sunset Needle Felting with Delphine Brooks. Half Yard Summer Collection launch with Debbie Shaw. She's the guest. She's not presenting. Barley Pop Tree of Life with Delphine. And then Dukey with Gary. I can't believe he's coming in without me. Uh, for two hours. I don't know what he's doing, but it'd be brilliant. Whatever he's doing, he's be brilliant. Uh, so that is tomorrow. Wendy's on tomorrow. Wendy's on uh, Thursday and Friday. And I'll be back on Saturday and Sunday. Um, so we have to run to the, we have to run now to the Yarn Lane studio. So I'll see if you're coming to Yarn Lane, I'll see you in a few minutes' time. If I'm not, if you're staying on Sewing Street, then I will see you on Saturday morning.